into the cloud. Oh, uh, now we have those little chicks. Oh my gosh, they're just look at how big they are now. They grow fast. Kind of like these guys. Yes, yes. Are I they don't still have any carry out with me today. Oh, they're like so tiny chickens. <laughs> they look like tiny chickens. Oh, the cats? It's gonna be weird being on my laptop. So I didn't I didn't see a link for this week, so I went to last week. So that's the same know. link every week. Yeah. Okay. Thankfully. I figured it out, so I'm so proud. You're doing great. Here comes Bill. Bill saw Sagan and and uh, and um, Zeke. <laughs> I'm all just Googling. Weird being someplace else. We've only been here for a few hours. Where are where are you? UCSF, right outside of San Francisco. Mark had a doctor's appointment today, so uh, he has. They want to. They see him. And that one day, and then they see him the next day in the morning. So we spend the night, and then he just goes to his appointment tomorrow, and then we drive home. We're about two hours from San Francisco. It's raining, so we're in a hotel at um, right outside. You can see it. You can see out the window over here. Mm -hmm. it's still, it's still light outside. The wind was going. Woo. We're right on the kind of on the water. Hi, Bill. Hi, Susan. Good yeah. deal. The wind is pretty bad. Avatar. <laughs> hmm? Yeah, the wind is something else. Hi, Ben. Um, Bill, I, I hear you had, uh, you got to meet um, Sagan and uh, Zeke. Is that right? You're on mute. Okay. Now, can you hear me? Yeah, now we can hear you. Okay, good. It's so cool you got to see Sagan and, and Zeke, huh? Say who? Sagan. Did you meet Sagan? Did I meet Sagan? I think and, I did. And Zeke. I just just this last few days ago in Sacramento at the museum. I thought. I thought Carl Sagan died several years ago. No, little Sagan. I didn't you just meet Zeke? I, if I did, it didn't they register <laughs> at trivia? The person who plays trivia didn't she yeah. just come to your? Didn't she just come to your train museum in Sacramento? Well, if she did, I did. Uh, what day was she there? I don't know. In the last few days, I thought she posted okay. that Sagan met you. She's a little girl. Was she? Uh, was, a, was she with a fourth grade class or something? No, the parents are traveling through the state, and they went up to Sacramento. They're they're homeschooling her, so she she's doing a history, her social history right now. Okay. Uh, if it happened, it totally escaped my memory. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if Zeke and, comes, we'll, we'll have to ask Zeke because she's, uh, she, I thought she, I thought she um, mentioned it that she says, oh, we got to see Bill because she asked me what your name was. And she goes, what's the name of the guy who's at the museum and the train museum in Sacramento? And I said, his, this is his name and here's his profile. And she said, oh, okay. And then the next thing I heard, she said that, um, she met us, her daughter, Sagan, who was at my house last week, met you. Well, they if so, they didn't make it uh, clear that, that that that's who they were. <laughs> oh, funny. Okay, I'm going to look and see if I see it where it said it. Deborah says the power is out in, in, our, in Monterey County. Good thing uh, we're not there. Or at least where she's at. She's in Carmel Valley. The power is out at Deborah's house. Well, until it comes back on. Let me see. Hi, Rob. Hi, Kyle. Hi, Terry. Hey, Rob. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, hey, Terry. Well, Troy's here. Oh, Troy, Troy's avatar's here. <laughs> I don't know if Troy's here. It's... There's Troy. Hi, Troy. 
Okay, I'm looking now to see. Rebecca in Sacramento. All right, she went to the she went to the California Museum. And really? she went to Sacramento State Capitol. She went across the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, well, I thought she said something somewhere. Maybe she's maybe they're coming. I don't know. Uh -oh. I don't know if she'll show up or not, but I thought for sure I heard her say that she had met you. Maybe she met you at the museum and didn't make themselves known. If, if that's that is the most likely most likely thing. I but I, you know, if they said, oh, and were the people who were on Susan's uh, uh, trivia that that would have registered, but I think <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> so. Anyway, uh, I'm always happy to meet people, but uh, I'm not always not always there, <laughs> even you know, when I'm there physically. Were you, were you have you been at the museum in the last few days? I was there on Monday morning, uh, and I was on the train on Tuesday, all day Tuesday. Uh, and I was on the train today. I don't know. Um, where's James these days? Because he's also in Sacramento. I don't know James. He plays here. Well, I mean, other than here, I don't know James. Oh yeah, he's up in Sacramento. So how's everybody else doing? Can you, guys hear, can you guys hear Harry Potter in the background? No. Mark, it's a it's a like a marathon of Harry Potter playing on on the uh, on the TV. He's excited to he hasn't seen these movies in ages. I might not have I might not be able to put the let me see. Am I gonna be able to do the chat? It's so weird having only one screen. How do you guys do it? How do you <laughs> function? What do you mean? Yeah, couldn't do it, Susan. Want, couldn't do it. Why would you want two screens? Then you'd have to like it would hurt my neck. Oh no, it's so easy. And they're side by side. They're not up and down. They're side by side. Okay, but so you, I have a laptop though, so I don't know where I'd put the second screen. Oh, um, I guess you have portable ones. Yeah, this is gonna be awkward. I'm gonna probably just. It's not. Where Where are you, Susan? UCSF. Well, I'm in a hotel outside of San Francisco. It's Park Square oh. in the morning. So we're here at this, we're, this is the same hotel we go to every time Mark comes up here. Oh, honey, you okay? Just probably go to Mark, because we live two hours from San Francisco. And it's just too much of a drive. All right, so Rob, I'm gonna pre I would appreciate it if tonight you put um, the questions or the answers or whatever in the um, spreadsheet, because it's too awkward for me to do. I, don't, oh. I just, oh man, working with one. Okay. <laughs> now I get it. Me too. I mean, my gosh, I have to flip. I can't even see you guys right now. How in the heck? So you're slumming it like the rest of us. Yeah, I just went for one monitor. I, 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 I can't have two monitors because then I'd have to get a larger desk. I only have room for one PC on this desk and it's it's in a space between two doors. So I'd have to redo my room to get two monitors and I'm not going to. What if you got time. two really small monitors? Yeah, that won't help. Then I can't see a damn thing. I can barely see it on a 24 inch screen. You could attach it to the monitor you have. What if you put, put one monitor on top in of front of the other monitor? Yeah, that would work. <laughs> what if you get those Google glasses? Do they still make those anymore? Mm -hmm. I actually had at, at my office when I was working, they had a docking station for the laptop. And many people, even if they didn't have a second monitor, used the laptop screen as a second monitor. And I didn't even like doing that. And I just kept it closed. So I, How about I mount two I, screens on the ceiling and have a chair that leans back? Mm. <laughs> or, or put one of them behind you. And, you can just keep and have a mirror. Behind. I need like a double a mirror so it double reverses it. Mm. So oh, Rob, is... I, I did something really nerdy this week. I watched every episode of Mandalorian. 
I couldn't what? believe it. Wow, oh. that's a lot. Wow. I know. I know. I couldn't believe I got into something like that because I never do. So you're going to watch the Baby book Yoda. of Boba Fett? Yoda. Well, so I started watching Boba Fett because yeah. I'm like, now I want to know. <laughs> I know Boba Fett is not that good. Uh, not as good. It's still it's Star as good. Wars it's still or Star Trek. Oh, look Star, Star Wars. Wars. Star Wars. It, it's Star Trek Wars. Wars. Yes, so, but you you should watch it because a couple episodes of Boba Fett lead into the yeah, new yeah, season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell her. A couple episodes. Of I'm Boba not Fett saying anything. I'm just saying why they need to watch it. Okay. And yeah. and the latest series of Star Wars is probably the best one they've done. Andor. Andor. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's okay. amazing. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So yeah. I I just I was late because I was watching the uh, yesterday's Mandalorian that just came out. <laughs> yeah, I just finished it. Yeah. I didn't know they had a new season coming up. Yeah. They did, and they got Surprise two episodes, Troy. and they ended with a cliffhanger. Oh, yeah. I know it's All killing right. me, Troy. Tonight, uh, if I get off early enough. That's why tomorrow. I had to watch Boba Fett because now I got to know what happened. Oh, it's man. Good and I'm actually, one behind a Picard, too. Oh, I can't oh, oh you guys yeah. have got way too much invested in this. You are not people. being nerdy enough. And, and the season finale of Poker Face came out today. Uh, that I don't watch. That's a great show. Yeah. You guys are way too, you're too busy. Hey, what is that? Hey, hey, if you've got the time, I hope you're watching my cha- my web, my YouTube channel because if you've got time to watch all that, now I, I hear yeah. you. <laughs> I hear you yeah. guys. I did. Yeah. Yeah, I, have to down. I have to go to the next series now. Three or four. So, so is Poker Face a, a Lady Gaga thing out of her song? No, you? no. It's. Are you familiar with the actress uh, Natasha Leone? No, not red hair. Oh yeah, she's yeah. like a New York based red hair. Oh wait, wait. She played. Did she play Russian Doll? Yeah, she was in yes. Russian Doll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you take I Russian watched, Doll. I watched that series. I know her. Yeah. But instead, she solves like Columbo mysteries. Oh, that sounds good. I like her. Except for she's also voice. it's one of those shows where she goes from place. town to town. She's a drifter like the Incredible Hulk. OK, uh, all right. Six. Now I have another thing to watch, man. <laughs> <laughs> she would have Which one is that? Poker face? Poker, face? Poker face. Unfortunately, you have to get the Peacock Network to get it. Yeah, so have, that's a, that's wink, a wink. Sure. That's the only monkey way. in the wrench. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh hi, Ron. Ron's here. Hello, Ron. Ron. All right. Ron. What the heck? <laughs> I knew it was going to take forever to get to this point where where there's a letter and we're dying to see what's in it. Yeah. What? I mean, she's got to open that letter tonight, and I'm just going to flip out. What are you talking about? Something really important that isn't so nerdy. It's not. Well, it's nerdy, nerdy, but different type of nerdy. You think it's nerdy? So okay. speaking speaking of which, uh, hi oh, Kyle, wow, long long, long time no see. <laughs> right. uh, so I was just checking out the hi, graphical Jimmy. view of the six degrees of Susan, and, and there's still that one disconnect hi, where the Susan's Facebook page is not connected to um, who was it, Mike, I think. And mm. yet, there's another one there. Did you did you take a look at how the did we get Mike? Mike, Mike, how did you join? How did you find out about this trivia? Are you sure you have the latest? Yeah, Here's I, I, I looked at it. I think it's good. No, it's not. Oh, there I see. Susan's FB oh, post see. is one of. Oh, the... I haven't seen it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And, that, oh. and that and that's supposed to be connected to. I believe it was Mike. And... Shouldn't it just be Susan and not Susan's Facebook? Well, post? W- because because yeah, otherwise Mike, you're going to have Susan and you're going to have Susan's Facebook post. Well, yeah, that was the point that you made the post and then the post is how Mike saw you didn't directly invite him and if anyone else sees your no. post. Joins it, Someone right. else was, I'm I'm friends with a couple of people who work at Max Fun, who are the podcast studio of like Ono Ross and Carey, and also so Jim Newman's Jim podcast. Newman. Jim so Newman. I assume that one of my friends there is friends with one of them, either Ross <laughs> or Jim, and she put like, oh, I'm going to this thing. Oh, she never did, but I was like, oh, what that looks interesting, and I clicked on it and showed and up. You and you saw the Facebook post, right? Yeah, I saw. Yeah, uh, yeah I saw one of. So, I guess so that's of that's how Mike entered it in the database. And uh, and it's for some reason that's the one thing that's not working right. <laughs> so this is the entity known as Susan's FB post. Right, right. And I'm really a total like a sovereign stranger. citizen debate. So Paul and Lynn aren't on there. So you better put them on there. Hi, Paul. Hi, Lynn. Where have you guys been? Paul had a birthday and everything, and we didn't get to sing happy birthday to you. And I know that we're going to have to wait till next year now. You're on mute. 
So no retroactive yeah. birthday songs. <laughs> We'd have to sing it backwards. There's a statue. Ooh, a challenge. <laughs> Lynn, Paul, where have you guys been? They're looking at each other, trying to make up something quick. <laughs> You don't want to I say don't know. That. You tell them. No, you tell them. No, you tell them. No, you tell them. They've been hiding in a lighthouse. <laughs> I can't hear them talk. I can't hear. You guys are sound. Your sound is off. Even though you're not. No, can you hear us? Oh, there you go. Oh, now you are. There you are. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. Good. Yeah, we've uh, had various various things <laughs> going on. <laughs> Distractions. Look anyway, at them looking at each other like, hmm, what can well, we make out of this? Sounds know, it's, it's like minor health issues for weeks and weeks. Just, Ooh, that's no fun. I know. It, we, nothing fun has been going on. Uh, oh, well, forget it. Other then. than we did have a little bit of house guests, so that was fun. But, oh, yeah. Now that's an excuse. Yeah. Must have yeah. been make them show up. Yeah. <laughs> Paul had a birthday. Fun. Happy birthday, Paul. Thank you. You, I, we thought you didn't show because it was your birthday. <laughs> oh. You don't want us to sing happy birthday to you. <laughs> no, in fact, we, maybe he'll insist on it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else having birthdays? Not that I know, huh? Anybody? I have one every year. They're having yeah. birthdays. Yeah, but you already sang to me last week, so I don't have to yeah, say Yeah, Carolyn's like, I'm done with that. It's later this month. Oh, is that right? Remind us. Yeah, with okay. Peggy. Me and Peggy celebrate the same week. Oh, that's right. Peggy said she's going to be late, if at all, showing up because she's got, um, there was one thing she's worried about, the weather. Deborah says her power is out, so that would probably mean that she's oh. out. And then I think she said something else. I think she went to dinner or she's going to dinner or I don't know, something like that. Some kind of thing like that. Hey, Romero. We've only got half the people on the screen. Hi, Jimmy. Oh, Hi, good morning. Good morning. Are we going to survive the night? We we survive yeah. Day. Yeah, you'll be okay. You'll be okay for tomorrow. <laughs> you make me feel so much better. Yeah. <laughs> it's in Thailand, so it's tomorrow. Okay. Right? It's live tomorrow. Yeah. We're going to survive till tomorrow at least. Yeah. He's over there. <laughs> yeah. We got to change Jane's um, sign on. That's a, permanently. Okay. She signs in and it's like something three. We only have one. <laughs> like everyone. Let's go back to settings. Now we can hear you, Paul. Click it there. Hi, Jane. What happens? Oh, let me, let me do my change of name here. Hi, yeah. Janine. Can you give me admin power, Susan? Yeah, sure. There's only 23 participants, and it's not putting everybody in. I, I hate when people don't know they're not on mute. Oh, come on. Uh, Brian's. Okay. Brian's. Here, I'll do it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so let okay. me see. I was thinking something having more than one monitor. Only having one monitor, I mean. Things are in different places here. Just to let you know, Rob, I'm on mute. Thank you, Vincent. <laughs> are we being recorded? Hey, you talk about uh, we are birthdays. Being recorded. Is it, we are. Isn't today isn't today Romero's birthday? Is it? What? Oh yeah. It's Romero's birthday? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You just remembered, huh? Yes, it is. Happy birthday, Romero. Yes, yeah. happy, happy, happy birthday. Thank you. We're, we'll we'll sing you happy birthday in a little bit. I know you're waiting. We have that faith here. Um, I have a I have a question. Ooh, um, uh -huh. How do I how do I on this stupid thing when I want to when I I get right, when I close the video how do I get a picture up here? Instead well, you got to upload one. Yeah, but you I have used to have one. I didn't I didn't do I didn't do anything to well where where do you where do you find that upload business? Well. <sighs> It's your profile, which is like signing on onto the yeah. web browser, onto the internet. To Zoom. Hi, Robin. Hi, Bill. Right. So it's not your background; it's a profile picture. You can you can go through your Zoom.com account and make it permanent. Put a profile picture, 
or you can, I believe, do it somewhere here. Well, that's what I kind of thought. But yeah, I can't. Looks like, yeah, you can do it. Oh, when profile. You your little picture, click the three dots, and that there's a drop down menu, and second from the bottom says edit profile picture. Yeah, and your name, so you can do it from there too. Uh, mute, stop, blur my background, choose virtual background, pin, hide to no, there's no, and rename. I don't have anything that says. Uh, uh, Go to choose. video settings. Can you get to video settings? It's under, it's a little carrot up by next to stop video. Now we're off mute. Do you see, right. do you see video settings? Yeah. Okay, click on that. And on your Look. left hand side, it should say profile. Like about the six one down, one two. Six one down. No, same thing. So Integra integrated camera, blur Sorry. my background, choose a virtual background, and video settings. That's it. So you don't see something that pops up on the left hand side that says general video audio screen share. Uh, let me see. If I, use if I Oh, wait, hang on. If I I general audio screen, blah 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 blah. Oh, yeah, but. I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll 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 find a six year old somewhere around here to show me. Uh, just, just I changed my name. The greatest so, connect ever. So Susan. <laughs> the greatest connect. The greatest. So Susan, what, yes. What happened? What happened to that Facebook post about the uh, language police? I was looking forward to. A point oh, listening. you guys were just getting too crazy. <laughs> I just said, I am not dealing with these people. A bunch of people wanted to just read into it everything that I didn't mean. So I said, I'm done with that. I don't want to deal with it. That's why we don't have those kind of conversations because it was like, I was getting messages from people saying, well, I think that you meant this. And, I just, and I'm like, oh, guys, it just was what it was. I just... <laughs> I don't I don't follow George Will or anything. I just thought that it was kind of clever. And I and I do think that um, in some extremes it's gotten crazy. This word Latinx. Nobody in my area uses Latinx. That's a made up yeah. word to appease people. Yeah. I hear it all the time. Well, really? Yeah. All, yeah. All, the words, government? all words were at one point made up. Yeah, locals. <laughs> yeah. I've yes, never exactly. heard a local do it. I have. I have all lot many. Where Many do you times. live, Robin? Um, I, I live near S Susan and Salinas. Oh, really? <laughs> hey, I'm yeah. in Salinas, and she's oh. in some rich area over there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. That's I live on the outskirts it. of Salinas. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anybody who uses it, except maybe some, some maybe Karen does. Uh, Paul, Paula Serrano told me about it because it's, it's she a, use it? she, well, she's a Spanish translator, so she has to know these things. And yes, it's becoming more and more common. And all of the Latina ladies that I know hate it. Really? Yeah. The few yeah. people I've heard mention it said, this is stupid. Why are, why are we being, why are people telling us to use this word? That's not us. And, and well, I hear it on NPR. You know, Latino well, guys of, don't of care. Of course it's NPR. Yeah. What? Here in Salinas, we're, we have, we have populations of Latinos and they call themselves by their population name. They say, we're Mexican. We're uh, from uh, Michoacan. We're from Jalisco. We're from Well, they're not going to call themselves Latinx at a party, but it's, you know, when you're on the news reporting the news or something no, like that. Not, I'm saying individuals, people who you, who are in that culture don't say, no, some say some, some, say some do. Oaxaca. It's Sam a new Oaxaca. thing, and and some do. And it's, it's not really news. a conversational word. It's a it's a print word or a news on the news word. It's less than a year, so that's new. Oh, yeah. It's been around a long time. Actually, the first time I ever heard it was watching a news show, and I think it was a congressperson making a, a talking to an audience, and she and I go, "What did I hear that right?" No. And then I asked uh, Paul about it. That's how I found out about it. Well, I can't. I'm bl I'm dark now. It doesn't turn. And I just drove home for the for the people who don't live around here. <laughs> I just I feel 
I I feel like Dorothy coming home before the tornado. It's the the sky is black. The sky. Jeez. Oh no. Uh, it's some crazy it weather. It sounds like you guys are set up for floods. Yeah. It sounds like our setup before the '96 flood. It's well, pretty bad out there. Quick snow melt, lots of snow, yeah. and an well, atmospheric this, river. There's 57 feet of snow in the Sierra, and when it melts, it's yeah. going to be something else. I don't know where it's going to go, but yeah, is it going to melt? All, all is it going to melt with the rainstorm? Cool. At least your drought's over. <laughs> no, it's not. Well, we'll no, because one. water hasn't sunk sunk into the ground yet. Yeah, it has to go to the aquifer. We still don't mm. have groundwater in some places, so mm. it has to be replenished. Yeah, it's a mess. It's it's well. Um, so I've been going around to uh, <laughs> our oh, here's mono. I've been going around to some of the supervisor meetings because I've been taking photographs and uh, for the supervisors, and the and the places they're visiting first are flood places that were flooded out in January. Oh my God, those people are pissed off. It's such a mess because a lot of the areas that are near the, um, the creeks and the, and the areas that are flooding are not, are, are not the, they're not the wealthy people of, of the area. They're people who've been completely ignored for, for decades and they haven't been keeping the creeks and the things dredged and stuff and people's homes are getting, oh, it's just awful right over there. So it's, so I've been attending these meetings and listening to these people and the problems they've been dealing with. It's really sad because uh, only until right now, people are taking it seriously. They've just been letting it uh, you know, just become a problem. But the last one I was at, they were saying there's trees <coughs> growing out of the creek because no, and nobody's come in and dredged up. It's supposed to be really deep, the area, but it's just like a foot deep. And so what happens is they just get flooded and it starts going into the yards and into your homes. And uh, the city or the county hasn't been maintaining these problems. It's really awful. And it's, you know, looking at the government now, the way I am looking at it, Oh, it's just such a mess. I wonder if the Oroville Dam is going to hold. That's the one I'm a little worried about. Yeah. Oh. Well, around here, the last several years, we've had such an uptick in new housing and stuff. And, you know, my, my grandfather was a contractor and did a lot of surveying. And, you know, even before he was, he passed away, there were some of the newer houses being built in floodplains and he could not understand how they're doing that and so the almighty one dollar the, one of the newest um developments was one of the ones that was underwater um on the big storm on january 1st so i feel bad mm -hmm. you know how are those people supposed to know when the last huge rain wasn't for a few decades well when they no. won't insure you that's a problem no well, no you can't get insurance in some places and well, then town. they shouldn't be building there i mean it's just I look at this and it's 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 like really we're driving up as Mark and I are driving up we went to Gilroy which is right along Highway 101 which flooded like crazy I mean like like a whole floor of a house level in some just some little areas and you think why are you building there it's right next to the creek yeah. some areas shouldn't be there yeah it's just working why wouldn't it be working jeez well, I did. I did an update just before I was on, and I found it weird there was not one entry in the chat. So I was just wondering. Oh, because we're talking. Hi, Mono. Usually, there's a lot of people saying Hello, something. Hello, Jane there. from Oregon. Hi. Hi, Jane. Hello. Are we ready? Well, it's to start? Sunday, Jane. Oh, I guess I'm just dealing with this. Oh gosh, let me see. What'd you say, Janine? We'll see you Sunday. Yes. Oh, you guys get to go hang out this all in person. Yeah, with skeptics. Face. I should write this down. Ron, you're first. You know that, right? I do now. <laughs> <laughs> and birthday boy Romero's next. You're okay with that? <clears throat> oh, Jane, is that Mount Hood behind you? It is. Been skiing there a few times. Really? Yeah, up at Timberline. Yeah. Was where the shining took place. Yeah. <laughs> Timberline. Yeah. Uh, Bill, I, what kind of rocks are those behind you? 
Uh, uh, those are a bunch of granite. That's uh, Yosemite Valley. And right next to my head is Yosemite Falls, the Upper Falls. Uh, yeah. Are the Rockies, I presume? Which, Rockies? Huh? Part of the Rockies, Sierra. I presume? Sierra Nevada. Sierra Nevada, OK. Yeah, this is yeah. in California. Yeah. Yeah, somebody's going to be roaring in June. It's going to be crazy. Oh, yeah. It's going to have lots and lots of water in the Merced River. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. Vernal Falls will be beautiful. Uh, You'd think somebody would be in charge of this and had take mm -hmm. care of when we get the water and stuff so that we don't inundate with each other and flood just it comes naturally. Kyle, you're for it, right? Uh, I believe so. I got some people coming, so I might have to be in and out. If I could go earlier, that would be good. But if not, we'll figure it out. Um, that's fine. Do you want to go earlier? What time? Which round uh, do you want to be? Whatever suits the team. I know some people leave early. If somebody's got a category ahead of me, I can go after them. Um, I think that everybody's going to stay. Ron, Rob, Romero, any of you guys want to trade with uh, Kyle? Don't volunteer at all at once now. <laughs> And if you're going to sorry, so so what's the what's the question? So Kyle says that he may have some visitors come over, and he's on the fourth round. So he's asking if somebody will trade him around so that he can go earlier. So that he okay, can well I'm I'm just I'm just one round earlier than that. Okay, so Romero or Ron, would one of you guys want to trade with Kyle? Yeah, I can switch. Okay, so Kyle, you're going to go first. Thank you for telling me All that. Right. So that I can Thank you. Okay. I'll try and stay awake by then. Oh. You want Rob space? I'll give you Rob space. That's three. Ron. I uh, name too aggressive. Okay, so I've got Kyle, Romero, Ron, <laughs> Rob, and Ben. That's what we're going to do. So let me get your in your mouse is weird too. Oh, I updated the graph, Rob, but now uh, just list Susan's Facebook page as Susan. Oh, that's nice to know. I'm just, just a Facebook page. Where are you, Susan? Uh, UCSF, right outside of uh, San Francisco. Mark has a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Mm. And so we're up here early, so we don't have to deal with it. What in the heck happened to my Zoom screen now? So I'm, I'm looking at the spreadsheet, and I still see the same order that was there before. What's going on? Because I'm still trying to figure out how to get my Zoom back up. What does that have to do with Zoom? <laughs> it's a spreadsheet. Well, I only have one screen. <sighs> oh. <laughs> clicking on it it's not clicking through. okay there we go. not multi-threaded okay well next time susan you need to bring some monitors with you when you go on trips okay <laughs> apparently on thursdays or i and, just let rob handle it uh, and i'm not Robin. sure what, what okay, all right what so, am i hitting that's not making you guys database so okay, kyle did, yes. did you did you say you changed uh so you just took away the facebook thing that's right. Okay. That's cheating. I wanted to see if it would work the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I had to update me because Rob, I think you added me in and linked it to Carl, but it wasn't Carl with a K and that's how he was in. So Carl and I were just out in this little bubble out and off to the side, <laughs> but yeah, I, I so updated it. When did, when did you do that? Oh, uh, last week. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah, since then yeah. I've been on it multiple days fixing it and occasionally Kyle's rerun it and uh, we had everything fixed except for this last thing I was mentioning. So now it should be all okay. Assuming the one thing is that someone, Susan should go in there. I don't think she has and check all the ones that say Susan invited these people to make sure that is true. Because a lot of them were question marks and I just filled in Susan when we didn't know. <laughs> Would we lie? Yeah. How come I cannot find you guys? It's just a little tiny square on the screen, <laughs> and it's only you guys who's talking. You can zoom I... in. Oh, that sorry, different thing. Oh, you need to change to, to a different view. So I get exit minimized video. I have stop video. I have mute my audio, and I have a carrot that says hide video, and that's the only. The only when you go up to the upper right corner, where it says view. No, all I've got is a little tiny box on my screen about this Upper big. Right corner, it says me. That is box. weird. I go up to the right corner and I have the option of speaker, gallery. What, view. what, what platform What's are you on? Hide self view. What are you on, Janine? I was fine. It was, I'm yeah, on an old Mac. 
I'm on a window. Yeah, seat. that's Same what thing. mine is like. Yeah, I, I have it too. It's it's the the view button. It's the view right button. The, right under the, the X. Right corner. You ran under the X to close the whole window. But, yeah. but that does not have anything regarding that, does it? Yeah, yeah like the gallery view versus. Oh, is that yeah. what you're talking speaker. about? It's just yeah. a speaker view. <laughs> yeah, it's just on speaker view, not gallery view. I'm on speaker view, mother. and it's a little tiny thing, and I cannot figure out how to make it so that it's normal, and then to go to gallery. It's giving me. And then our gallery view isn't showing everybody, and we can't. Yeah. Or you probably have an iPad, right? So Susan, you may have uh, no. minimized everything. So you might go down to the bottom of your screen and see if you can find the Zoom icon to mm -hmm. up the whole thing again. I've done if, that before. If if you can't see everyone, there might be a second you, page. Computer, you see hear. if it, it says two on one side and then flip across to that. <laughs> yeah, it uh, it says yeah. We have three three views available. <laughs> And this is uh this is a new computer and I think I ended up logging in through my browser instead of through the app or something and oh uh, yeah and you can change how many people on one screen like if you're on a laptop yeah that's what we're where, where can you do that I've never seen that control we have a choice of nine or or twenty five where where is that I choice I did There's that settings, settings. Yeah. yeah settings. Uh, if you go to video and scroll all the way down, maximum participants per screen in the gallery view. 25 is the default. Wait, 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 wait. If you go to video. One person at a time. What do you mean if you yeah. go to video? What does if that you mean go, if you go to... So if you right click on the zoom icon in the bottom and go to settings. Video settings? Yeah. Yes. Well, just yes. settings for the whole zoom client. Mm -hmm. And then it pulls up settings and it starts on general. Then you tab down to video. Okay. Got and that. you have to scroll yeah. all the way down to the bottom. It's oh, like one I of the have last never settings. noticed that or they you didn't, didn't know that was there no. update and I did not know that was there. Yep. yep. So I have mine set to 49. So right. I, I just I always I just, see everybody. I just did that. You guys are gonna be so tiny though. Yep. Um, I've got yeah, it does make people smaller, but I like seeing everybody. I like it. Yeah, so I, I, do too. Nine, I I only see nine and twenty-five. It may be depending oh, upon your uh, yeah, processing laptop. power of your computer too. There it is. You're right, Adrian. It had fallen like way down into the into under like under the um, task bar, like yeah. when you start you everything. It's just like it this was little was tiny weird. sliver down there. That was weird. Yeah, I've had that happen before. Right oh, I figured that was probably what happened. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, so You're now welcome. I have to have you guys on two screens because my laptop can't support all all everybody on one screen. Okay, sorry about that, everybody. Caitlin's entering. Who's Caitlin? We know Caitlin, right? As another name? Caitlin, full screen at least. I guess we'll find out. Let's roll Jenner. the dice. Yeah. Hopefully, she's not an imposter. Jenner. She's Zoom bombing us. Here comes Gail. <clears throat> you Hello. can always kick him out. Hello, oh, Caitlin. I found you searching trivia on Facebook. Hello. Hello. You just have to. You just have to prove that you're actually Caitlin, and then you'd be okay. <laughs> <laughs> My birthday's next Tuesday, so <laughs> there you go. Teach her a lesson. We'll sing happy birthday to her. See if she stays. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> Don't bring up birthdays. No, no. literally, my birthday is next Tuesday. Very good. Welcome. Which okay. is Friday. Uh, pie day, yes, March nice. 14th. Absolutely. So you're gonna eat pie for your birthday? No, I never eat pie on my birthday. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put you guys in your rooms. Okay, here we go. Let me see. I, I think she actually is Caitlin. You just have a I have to I have to leave after the second round. I do apologize ahead of time. Whoa. Oh, good, good. My category is everything about Vincent, so how that works. Who <laughs> <laughs> so can I join? Yeah, of course you can. We're going to put you in a room right now in a minute. So it's like, where, where is breakout rooms on here? So oh, I, 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 still, I still see the original order of people going. Have you not changed it yet? Rob, I just pulled up the screen uh, just 30 seconds uh, ago to find <laughs> the room. To be able to cut, find cut her some slack, Rob. 
This is she's, very she's working weird. on one this tiny is, monitor. This she's is crippled. Day. <laughs> okay, Kyle's going first. She's so a monitor there. that can only show two letters at one time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> it would be so much trouble. Mm -hmm. There's Kyle. Okay, I see Kyle now. Kyle's going to room one. Romero, where are you? There you are. Room you room remember one. the days, Rob, of doing word processing on a 40 column display? Hmm. I, I remember punch cards. Ron. Yeah, I remember punch cards. <laughs> and, you do. And, and, and oh tape. tape. Oh, the tape? tape? Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, Ron. tape. Are you guys so old, you remember the bird? I, I actually, horrible. let's see if Ooh, I can. Oh, Cass, uh -oh. is it power out? Let's see is if can, 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 can you see this? Can you see this? I this like, this, yes. is, this is my pro. There you go. This is the basic pro. Right. Yep. My light is flickering. The it's wind is flickering. Caspian's uh, power is about to go out. What? So I How does he know that? Know that? I may uh, be going too because the wind came up and the lights are flickering. Wow. That's what Cass just told me. Just said, you guys are. Weird. Who knows? Okay, Which reminds me, I'm gonna go get my phone chargers to make sure my phone is yeah. get everything <laughs> charged now. Charge and now make your while coffee. you still have power. And yeah, make your are, coffee. We oh, had a 12 hour fat failure last week. Your toilet. <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe if the California government worked more mm -hmm. on infrastructure and less on Policing people's speech, you could uh, have nice things there. <laughs> oh snap. Oh snap! <laughs> okay, here we go. I think I've got this out now. Oh, I've been invited to a room. We might Good actually job, get Susan. started tonight. I know. I'm sorry. It's weird. I'm so proud of you. It might work. In in your limited Yay. computing power. I know it's stressful, but I, I think I can do it. So, just I'm I'm not even sure that my my view of the spreadsheet is correct because it still has the original view. So that it says Kyle's in room four. I have just put you in your room. Oh my God, you're going to drive me to. I want to know I'm in the right room because it doesn't match what's on you're the chart. You're in the right room because you okay. were in room four. Okay. <laughs> Thing says I'm in, still says I'm in room, room three. So that's good. But what have you been called to room uh, which room? It says room four. It says room okay. four. Well, yeah. then you're go. Okay. Be free. You can do this. Yeah. Who can I hear? God, it's weird how that falls down there. I have nothing to do with it. Okay, I'm, I <laughs> stupid thing fell down here somewhere again. So you guys are watching me and I am doing nothing except trying to find the, I can't even figure out how to, all the controls are gone. The whole, the whole bar is gone. Did it fall down here? This is very strange. It's not. Did it again?
just can't find the it had dropped down behind this thing before and now it must be down there but no wave So all the controls are gone. There's nothing here. There's there's just this little tiny square on my screen that's got um, the controls that uh, that I usually have for everything are gone. They're they're not here. A minute ago, I thought I'm 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 talking to because I can't turn off the recording. So I'm here talking to the recording because hello recording because I can't I can't get to the pause the call people back from breakout rooms none of that's here it's all gone it did it a minute ago and now it's doing it again so i'm talking to no no it's not the wi-fi <laughs> ever see anything it's my laptop before. I've never had a problem. I know this is grip. This is just the most exciting stuff. I think the last time I did this on my laptop, played um, Zoom um, trivia on my laptop, I think I had no controls I didn't I just let Rob deal with it I suppose I could leave oh no, there's no oh it's back what did I the whole thing went it it just went away again oh my god it's still not right <laughs> do you want me to I change it? Touched it just change tell it, me tell me to change it who's for okay, who's in room one change it. Okay, who's... Rob in who's fact, doing, you have doing, my permission to change everything tonight because uh, who's, I. Uh, who's doing Kyle's room one? first, Kyle. Kyle, okay. Romero's two. Okay, Kyle, and who's who's third? Ron. And then I'm fourth. Okay. And then Ben is fifth. Yes. Yeah. It, okay. it, when you guys yeah. went to your rooms, then yeah. everything left. What? All my all my controls, everything. I couldn't even pause the controls. The controls, everything's gone. And then right when you guys what? came back, it came up. So I'm afraid to touch it. Wow. Right I wonder what I wonder what's gonna what the recording is gonna look like. It might not it's it gonna might, be me might... talking to the recording. <laughs> okay, that's working fine. Um okay, let me call everybody back. I think I could do that. Let's see. I'm just I'm just an infant having only one screen. <laughs> okay, I've closed the rooms. And let me see if I can go over to okay, I'm gonna try to go to my website. Yeah, okay, there it is. Okay, let me try to play. Yes, yeah, so are you are you going to be able to type the names into the into the team terms? No, do that for me, please. I'm afraid to. Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> well, so then I have to call up the breakout rooms and. Well, look, I could but... I could just tell you what they are. Can you do you have the screen in front of you? I, yes, I do. Okay, so room one is Bill. Okay. Randy. Gail. G A I L. Uh huh. Yeah. Jane from California. Jane. Kyle. Ray. Kyle. And Paula. What the hell just happened? Something happened. <sighs> It's gonna be a long night. Paula. <laughs> okay, room two. Uh -huh. Is Adrian uh -huh. Jane from Oregon? Oh, wait a minute. I, I wrote Jane Oregon the first one. No, she was California. Was Jane California. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, Jane Oregon. Okay, then Janine. Oh, I don't have to spell that, but I'll just make J E A N I. -A I have it on the screen. I can't. I only have one monitor. I'm typing in a spreadsheet. 
And All then right. the next one is Paul. I and, only have one. Paul and Lynn, L Y N N. Okay. And Is Romero. I guess Faith's not here. I was going to ask her. She's sleeping. Are, are you taking attendance? What is this? <laughs> I'm this doing is the typing. I normally do, but you guys don't notice uh, it. Team three. Is Alan? Yeah, uh, this, this goes on your permanent record. <laughs> Mono. Yeah. Robin. Hello. You should hold up a magic mirror when you do this. Mono, Robin, <laughs> Ron, and Troy. That's room three. Is that it? Okay, number four is put Caitlin's full name C A I T L I N. And the yeah. last one is oh, yeah, yeah. R A N B Y. Can I say it again? There's too much noise. Caitlin Granby. C A I T L I N. Uh, C A I T L I N. Caitlin. Okay. Yeah. And the last name is G R A N B is in boy Y. Okay. Then Jamie. Because we like him. Uh huh. Carl. With a K. Kevin. <laughs> and with you. A K. <laughs> Everyone's with a K today. Kevin. And, and the last room is Ben. Room. Are you doing romper room, Kevin? Ben. <laughs> Carolyn. I see Carolyn. I see <laughs> Susan. Caspian. I never saw I see Caspian. Ben, Carolyn. Caspian. Yeah. C-A-S-P-I-N. Yeah, yeah, I know that one. Mike. And V is for Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Vincent with a K. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I wrote... <laughs> Nobody do anything fancy tonight because Rob okay, and I are both okay. challenged tonight. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm so proud of you guys. So, Rob, will you please write the names of the teams once they give them to me? Okay. Okay. All right, everybody. So, the room number one that has Kyle in it, and I don't remember who else was in it because I can't see the thing. Room number one guys? is Bill, Brandy, Gail, Jane from California, Kyle, and Paula. All right. What is your team yep. name tonight? We are Stormy Daniels Weather. Nice. <laughs> That's a good one. Um. Okay. Wait the a minute. Chat. So, I, is it? it in the chat? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Team. Right. Team two, two which is, is two? Adrian, Jane from Oregon, Janine, Paul and Lynn, Romero and Terry. I think it's Jane from California. No. no. So Oregon. Oregon. Oh, and two. Yeah. Into. Yeah. Yep. Into. And Adrian. I said Adrian. Okay. There she is. <laughs> are are you putting the, oh, did you put the name in, Adrian? Oh yeah. Okay. So um, instead or, of voting for the um, Republicans or the, oh my goodness, I just want the Democrats. Democrats. Yes, the Democrats. We're going to vote for the birthday party. Vote for the birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> I like parties. <laughs> Especially if there's cake. You chose the best uh, party. Gotta have cake. All yes. right. Oh, and Adrian's from Red Deer. What? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know what that is. All right, All team right. three. <laughs> I didn't think so. Non -sequitur. <laughs> team three is Alan, Mono, Robin, Ron, and Troy. All right, what's your team name, team three? A dearth of Steiners. <laughs> oh. We put you guys together. That's scary. Uh, I'll be back. Computer's rebooting. Four okay. is uh, our new player, Caitlin, and Jamie, and Carl, Kevin, and me. What did we come up with? Oh, Fox News logo. We deceive and you believe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trash. And team five Ben, Carolyn, Caspian, Mike. And Vincent with a K. We are a box without hinges, key or lid, yet Schrodinger's cat inside is hid. Whoa. Uh, ooh, that's all we can think of that one. And they even have the O with the little dots on it. Mm -hmm. wow. How, how did you do that? And, and all even copied, zero two four six it copied from the chat into a, in the spreadsheet. That is bizarre. Okay. All right. I'm, okay. So could you read the names? Oh, wait, no, I've got them right here. So tonight, which is 
March 9th, 2023. Speaking to you from outside of San Francisco, next to a little bay inlet at the Doubletree. <laughs> we have five teams that are going to vie for the championship for tonight of March 9th, 2023. We have Stormy Daniels Weather versus Vote for the Birthday Party versus A Dearth of Steiners versus Fox News logo, We Deceive and You Believe, versus a box without hinges, key or lid, yet Schrodinger's cat inside is hid. Mark, is he going to pick the winning team? No. He says he's not going to pick the winning team today. <gasps> Ooh, maybe that means oh. it's going to be a tie. Ooh. Ja, ja, ja. But he's going to join the birthday party, right? <laughs> I don't know. He's in bed. <laughs> <laughs> So, all right, so we have tonight that's leading off is Kyle, then Romero, who's having his birthday today, Ron, Rob, and then Ben. So um, let's give your permissions over to Kyle. I think I can do it from here. Yeah, I sure can. Make co right. Kyle, you are up. Here we go. I'm going to real quick share my screen. I think everybody knows about this, but in case you haven't, do you guys now see the trivia graph? Oh, that looks nice. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we see it. Very fancy. So based on the data we shared, every person in this is a node or a vertex. And Ooh, the links between us are called edges. And this trivia topic category is all about graph data structures like this. <laughs> 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 Don't make it too hard or anything. No. Right. I'm going to cry. Uh, <laughs> you already. <laughs> According to the trivia right, right, graph, right, I'm going to mute everybody. All right, thank uh, you. All right, so three. I was hoping that was a joke, and you were going to give us the real category. <laughs> right, okay, here we go. Muting at three, two, one. All right. So according to the trivia graph, which I just shared, how many participants have brought new participants in? Oh lord! So we're going to so, be able to see this graph, or no? <laughs> no, no. Well, I showed you real quick. Hopefully, you got a good memory. <laughs> I didn't realize I was supposed to know. So okay. obviously Susan has brought participants. Uh, I have not to date, um, so I would not be counted. How many of us have brought new participants? So are, okay. are we, are is there a counting? plus or minus? No, exact number on this one. Oh man, are, and are we counting Susan? Yes, Susan is in the list. In fact, question two, Susan tops the list and Rob is second with six invitees. Ooh. Name any one of the others. That are invitees. Yep. Okay. What do you mean? One of us who invited people or one of the people they invited? No, one so, of the people who invited people. You would not want to name me because I already admitted I have not invited anyone. Oh, well, this gotcha. is going to be fun. Okay. Oh, so anybody who's invited somebody else? On the graph. Yeah. Right? Okay. Correct. Based on the graph. All right. Question three. Every computer science student learns Dijkstra's algorithm for finding the shortest path between two nodes in a graph. In what year was the algorithm published? <laughs> or if you'd like, as an alternative, uh, you can also get credit by naming the big O notation for the algorithm instead of the year. And year will be plus or minus five. I have no idea what you just said. Kyle really wants his team to lose, is what I'm <laughs> doing. Can I, can I wake up, Avi? We can do this, but we don't have Kyle. Kyle's on us. I'm still thinking this is a joke, but I'm wondering how many questions we get in before you give us the <laughs> Yeah, and You guys are going to yell at me when I was going to do generic names for drugs? No. Uh, that actually was really right. much better, Ron, than I thought. In the spirit of this graph, are we allowed to phone a friend on this round? <laughs> Hopefully you've got friends in the group. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If we apply Dijkstra's shortest path algorithm to our trivia graph, what would be the longest distance between two players? So if you think of this in a family tree, the distance from my from me to my sibling is two. So I go up to the parent is one, back down is two. My distance to my grandfather is also two. My distance to my great grandfather is three. Uh, so what is the longest distance spreading out the graph? Wait, wait, all right. So, so so assume it was a graph with one person. Just Susan invited two separate people. That yep. would be the answer would be two then, right? Correct. Okay. And then of that max distance. For every one of these and for any one of these questions. I'm really interested. This is I'm, I'm really I mean, interested in the So of that longest distance separating uh, different players, there are eight unique pairings of players that share that max distance. 
Name any one of the eight pairs, i.e. name two people. All right, question six. If we re-envision the trivia game as a multi-level marketing scam in which all players must pay $1 to the person that invited them at the first level, and those receiving money must pay 50% of their earnings plus a dollar to the person who invited them, uh, what would Susan's balance be if all 73 of the listed players, including Larry, attended one game? <laughs> plus or minus? I, I agree with Rob. You're doing a great job of selling this joke. <laughs> He's on question six, you guys. All right, let's do plus or minus uh, five on that. Five dollars. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I, hey, I can find out if I'm going to be a multi-level marketing um, a millionaire here in a minute. Plus or minus five hundred dollars. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do a along similar lines. If we keep thinking of this mar multi-level marketing scam, how many of these seventy-three participants would lose money? Plus or minus five. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm recording this. This is this is this is epic. Okay. All right. Question eight. In 1736, Leonard Euler posed the classic problem that laid out the foundations for the field of graph theory. He showed that it was impossible to walk through the city of Konigsberg and cross each of the city's bridges exactly once, returning to the starting point. This is called the blank bridges of Konigsberg problem. How many bridges are there? And the blank is a number. Okay. All right. Graph theory includes many problems famously difficult to solve problems, such as the Hamiltonian path problem and the traveling salesman problems. Those two are examples of what type of problem? NP-complete algorithms, sublinear algorithms, P-space complete algorithms, or polynomial time algorithms. And you know what? I just met somebody at my Monterey County Skeptics Meetup, and I invited him to come to your podcast because I know he would like it. Now... <laughs> No, you're not sure. <laughs> well, he said, he said to me, "What's skeptical? It's it's called uh, you're, you're data skeptic." So he goes, "Well, is he skeptical about data?" And I said, "You know, I never really thought about it before. Now I understand. Okay, this will be interesting." All right, and then uh, in graph theory, a word that begins with a C is a subset of vertices of a graph such that every two distinct vertices. Ah, oh, shoot. I just put the answer in there. The answer was a click. <laughs> hey, I bet you it's yeah, I couldn't Thank even you. tell. Now hey, we, we get, get a point. We get at least one point. I, I couldn't even tell the answer. You know, there. You know if then, you hadn't said so then that, changed it to who else did something so stupid? <laughs> so no zero. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> just read, just read went, question 10. No, it was, oh, it can't modern, be click. He couldn't the have modern name of Königsberg. Kudisberg, or oh, change it to the modern name of Kudisberg for question 10 cast says. Let's do that. Because he the answer. Well, that'll put, take me off the spot. So yeah, the modern name of the city of Konigsberg. Oh, thanks. Now we lose the point. Thanks, the only Caspian. Point we're gonna get. Thanks, Caspian. <laughs> He's so proud of himself. All right, there we have 10. See, I'm going to be on Kyle's team. So he seems to think that having me on his team, this is going to be an asset. You know all this, don't you? <laughs> Or, or Mark. Just, Mark knows it. Then you can ask Mark's him. Mark's asleep to. now. He's oh. pretending to be asleep. He's watching Harry Potter. There's... I would be there joining him watching Harry Potter because that's my favorite movie in the entire world. He's watching you. Nobody's making fun of you. All right. So we're going to, I got to reassign these people. Bob's laptop. Okay. Kevin, you go into what room? Four. Yeah, you guys have to tell me because I can't see. All right, here we go.
करते हैं All right. What happened to our two-minute warning? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm on a different computer, and I think it's set up. We had a question, and we were kind of like sitting around waiting for you to come to our room so we could ask a question. Oh, apologies. I told you, Kyle. I told you, Kyle. And you didn't. But I, you're going to have to. But let's let let me ask the question so that everyone can hear the answer. Good idea. When you're when you're talking about a chain of people, and you're talking about the the greatest distance between the people and eight pairings are you talking about let's say let's say we had a b c and d and we're looking for eight pairings are you are you talking about only a and d can be a pair only the ends or can a and b a and c a and d c and d c and b well if they're in that order then you would only want the ends because for sure a and d are the furthest away because it goes a b c d Okay, so if you if you had a if you had a group of A B C D, then the only people who qualify as a unique pairing are A and D. Correct. Okay, I was All arguing right. this to our group, and other people were arguing against All that right. concept. I open it back so. for people who need it. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope my team doesn't need it, but we're okay. I think, right? We answered yeah. all our questions. I'm not going oh, back. Yeah. 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 Okay. We're, we're done. <laughs> I'm not saying they're right. I'm just saying we answered all the questions. Yeah, we were rooting for White Houses in our room. Yeah. Are we are we going back? No, I'm not. Uh, if needed only. That was fascinating. That was a really oh. interesting thing to do. I, I enjoyed the category actually. We're good. It was weird. You say that now before you know your score. <laughs> you get your score. <laughs> you see it's a big fat zero. <laughs> no, we got at least one, I can guarantee. Go see Daddy. Go see Daddy. It's the same one that all the other teams probably got, though. Yes, yes the seven bridges. The five. one that, that's real and based in reality. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like my Aurora Borealis behind me? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, I'm actually sitting outside. So, is that nice. real? Is that in real time? No, it's, it's a looping video. It's just it's the background. Yeah, it's just an it's just an animated background. That's what I thought. Zoom, Zoom supports that hey, if you have a I'm copying stuff computer. from the chat for Susan. I don't see a name of this. What, what, did, what did you call this? Uh, trivia graph. Trivia graph. Okay. Thank you, Rob, you, for doing that you, because I don't want to mess with my screen right now <laughs> you guys are getting floods down in California. we're not going to get flooded but there are areas of of our counties that are going to get flooded like you know smaller towns near the rivers and creeks and stuff like this areas of town but our and homes I, are are not going to get flooded we're not nobody here is near a house a uh, place near the rivers and low-lying areas yeah, nobody. Yeah, nobody in this group is under threat of having their homes flooded. And like up I, here, where Adrian and I are, it's minus sixteen degrees. It, I don't it, even know what that could be. That's like an imaginary number. Oh, <laughs> and, and uh, Kyle, um, we still didn't get to the end. Oh, I'm sorry. Here we go. We have one question left. Just right, one. Oh my God, you guys, come on. What? Okay. Now. Let me uh, put it to Fahrenheit, and I'll tell you what it is in Fahrenheit. Okay, that might make sense. Yeah, uh, Not yeah. Oh, shoot. How do I put and it? We down? have flood watches right now, but we have sandbags just in case. But if, oh. I think if we didn't have it the last couple weeks, I think, or the last couple storms, I think we'll be okay. So... So it's uh, four degrees Fahrenheit here. Oh, okay. That's, That's cold. cold. Four degrees, That's yeah, chilly. pretty chilly. Yeah. Um, we would have the minuses when I lived in upstate New York, and I don't miss that at all. So four degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So yeah, that's, it's cold for us here, or at least it is for me. That's cold. 
Yeah, I actually went to Skeptics in the pub yesterday. Oh, is that right? Oh. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. There was one guy that uh, decided to uh, disparage Americans, which I Aww. thought was kind of stupid. And it's like, don't, don't do that. And then the teacher guy there kind of yelled at him. <laughs> was, oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I've How never... many people show up at your guys' we had the most there last night that i've ever seen there was about close to um 20 that's a lot of people that, is good. that was that was a lot yeah was there a talk yeah there always is which well when i first started going to skeptics in the pub there was not but now there is because they have a separate room that they can show videos and stuff like that. We had a Skeptics in the Pub for our meetup last night at Pizza, and it was the biggest we've had in a long time. What did I say, Mark? 12? I think we had 12 people show up. That was, it was crazy to have so many people. 12. We didn't have enough room for everybody. We were just like, couldn't hear anybody talk because it was so loud at where we are, were at. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, I was able to bum a ride off of uh, one of the participants, other participants there. And he Did actually, you have to put out uh, your thumb and put out your leg? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> he actually... Pull up your cat leg. He, uh, he actually had a Tesla, one of the new oh. Teslas. Hmm. So it was uh, fascinating to drive in a Tesla. The thing warmed up really quickly. Uh, he showed me that it could go without him steering kind of thing, but he still had to add his hand on the steering wheel. Um, had like a full map of the city and everything. And he lives, he lived relatively close to me. So I was very fortunate. Are yeah. we ready to do answers? Um, before, yeah. before we ask for more time. Oh yes. no, I need more time. There's the raw no. data. Um, no. anyone wants to check out the source of it. But then starting at the top, according to the trivia graph, how many have brought new participants? Seven people have done oh. that. Oh, oh. We were so close. So close. Is there a plus or minus on that? Not on that one because it was a small number. Um, question two, who tops the list besides Susan and Rob? It's Kevin Mocker, Avi, Flockmeister, hey. Bob, Rob oh, P. Kevin Susan brought e. Avi. Robin. Hey, applause no, for no, all no, those no. people. No, no, I didn't bring Avi. According no, no, to Kevin brought three people. Or three people, yeah. Right. I actually brought four, but I forgot one of their names. <laughs> <laughs> Did they play more than one game? Um, Vanessa played a few. Andy I played one. Vanessa. But, so, my, Jake, my, my son Jake played one. Oh, well, that's true. So, is this Where's, only the top six, or is it anybody who brought someone should be included in that? Uh, those are the six who are invitees, um, or sorry, those seven. Those are the any of the other seven, not counting Susan. Those are the people according to the raw data. Okay, because well, we, we put Carl time. because Carl invited me and Carl was invited by Susan. So, it, yeah, I the, the sure. question doesn't really. It, it says name any one of the other invitors right. right so yeah. any inviter yeah i thought we interpreted that mean any other inviter other than the tops the top six right that's what i yeah uh hold on let me think about that um susan wants to name any of the others the top susan tops the list of second yeah i guess uh you're right carl should be allowed too and then okay. my brother invited me so he should be allowed Oh, Alan Steiner, yeah. All right, yeah. yeah. I read that as anybody who invites somebody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I want to make sure we, I wasn't the only one thinking that. Thanks. And then the answer there, I'll put the number with it for question three. The year of Dijkstra's algorithm being Ooh. published, 1956, plus or minus wow. five years. Wow. Or if you know, it's big O and V log V. We have 96. Yeah. Can we plead dyslexia? Yeah. V <laughs> log V, yeah. And then uh, the longest chain separating any two players is six links long. Yeah. Wow. wow. I, I, are... only, I only knew that because I looked at the thing. This is weird because it says six degrees of separation, and there were, in fact, were six. Wow. <laughs> and here are all the possible pairings. That's the answer to five. Faith and Carrie Gay. 
<laughs> Yay! We did that. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so was this data collected after Carl was linked to Susan? Because I know Carl and I were off in our own section there. Or is that not enough? Because that may only be five. Uh, I'm going distance. off the raw data as it is in the spreadsheet okay right now okay yep yeah and it has to be eight separation well, eight. wait a minute i'm confused because susan is the originator here and shouldn't she be at the top of most of the chains no shouldn't she be in the middle of she's always in the middle of the chains yeah so you're going end to end of the chains right i asked that question in the beginning yeah. i said if susan I, invited I'm, two people what would the answer be and it would be two because you go through susan Oh, okay. it would be Rob I to Susan. It makes right. no yeah. sense to me at all. Okay, so yeah, Faith go... is at one end and Francois is at the other end. That's and right. Susan's in the, in the middle. The maximum distance to get from one person through the people that invited them down another side to the people that yeah, they and invited. That's, and that's right. the degrees of separation. That's correct. Once we look at the chart, it'll probably make a lot more sense. Yeah, but yeah I get it. I get it. I yeah. wouldn't have much money I've made in my multi-level marketing. <laughs> yeah, me too. yeah, as, as a multi-level marketing scam, Susan would make $55.25. Oh, we're so close. Oh. We're so close. Is there a plus or minus wow. on that? Yeah, yeah, plus yeah, plus or minus five. five. Oh, yes. Oh, no. cool. by twenty five cents. Wow. Yeah, can we round? We put we put fifty. We put fifty, which plus or minus five. It's so close. <laughs> <laughs> if we put fifty, does that count? Yes. Yeah, uh, by twenty five cents. Oh, no. Twenty five cents off. Uh, oh, yeah, well. but do, I think we put sixty, so we got it. Yep. But see, we put for the longest distance between yeah, two players, 62. we put three, <laughs> which is actually which is half of six. If I had understood what the question was really asking, I would yeah. have put six. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because yeah. that's yeah, that the longest distance, that's only half of the half the way. Yeah, we so, put yeah. half the chain because I was thinking that's are the we chain. going back to another question? I thought we were on six. What are we doing here? <laughs> Go into number seven. <laughs> yeah, let's go right. this on track now. Go if we it. move to seven, uh, a good lesson about not getting involved in multi-level marketing scams because out of the 73 players, 66 would lose money. Yes! Oh. We got plus or minus, oh. plus or minus two. Wow. Did we get it? We, we got, got that it? like oh by oh, so missed it by that much. Good, good uh, guess, team. Uh, we said yes. We're off by three. Six, six, We're off six, by three. Plus or minus five. Get it. Huh? Plus or minus five. Yeah, it said so plus or minus two minus there, but in your two. question it said. Oh, plus sorry, or minus plus or minus five, five then. Yeah, I, I oh, didn't think we, oh, okay. no, we, we, we missed it by one. We still <laughs> missed it. Oh, yeah. We missed it by one. No, we're 66. We said 60. Oh. Oh. So multi level yep, same here. scam is oh. bad. All right, we got 65, eight. so we were pretty close with our guess. There are seven bridges. Bill knew it. He says it's a thing. It was that Indeed. extra bridge we missed. Hmm. And it's then the question thing. nine. Those are examples of NP complete ah, problems. Yes. Yay. Yay. I remember Yay. something from college. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we figured that one out. <laughs> yeah. And then lastly, 10, our uh, replacement question A is Kaliningrad last Russian. Bill got, Bill got that All one right, too. Thank you. Uh -oh. What's this Did we get? Did we say a bonus point if we know that Woody Allen's real name is Alan Konigsberg. Had you proposed that as the alternate question, that could have been question 10, but as it stands, no. I even spelled it right. I can't believe it. Caspian, did you know it? Of course you did. Wow, this was there you have it. Hard well, that was that was interesting. Okay. I like odd things like this. That was fun. Okay, so it was fun. Scores. So, so wait, so, I do, I do have a question. We said, we, we said Kaliningrad, but not that last part. So was that important? Oh, uh, just Kaliningrad is fine. The okay. last part okay. is what I got from Google. I don't know what that Oblast means. essentially means province. Ah, uh, okay. Like, like Philadelphia, uh, Pennsylvania. Right. Yeah. And on Wikipedia, it just says Kal um, Kaliningrad on that seven bridges. Okay, cool. Page, so. We spelled it right. So yeah. how do we yeah. see the... How do we see the this graph thing? I'll put the link back in the chat. It's oh, right there. thank you. Okay, I'll check it out later. <sighs> that that'll be fun. Okay, very good. So, how am I going to get this so I can? Oh wow, that's cool. 
Why does it keep moving? Uh, it, it makes settle. adjustments until everybody settles. It, oh, okay. It why, why did you take Susie off? I don't know who took Susie off. I'm just working with the data from the spreadsheet. It was she was on there, so maybe someone mistakenly thought Susie meant Susan. Oh, oh, that's oh that's yeah, that could be yeah. it. Because I did invite Susie, and she came a number of times. Oh. Yeah. yeah, she was there. She's a different person than Susan, so. So they say. That intro. <laughs> kind of like, like the, the, the Kyle and Carl thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. swear, people think they're the same person. <laughs> okay, let's Wait, do they're not. They're not? No, they're apparently, they're two different people. Let's do scores. Last I checked. So, uh, uh, team number one, which is... <clears throat> I've forgotten. Oh, it was um something to do with um, it's my team. Fermi Daniels. Yeah. Yep, we had six. Let me do it. Oh, oh, good. Okay. Team number two, which was what was your name? I think that's Adrian uh, party, birthday party. Oh, birthday party. Birthday party. Seven. 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 Okay. Out of that. Team number yeah, three. Dude, I'm, I'm really impressed with that. I don't know how we do. Team number three. So we have three. No, we, Sorry, we have three. We did. No, we got we got number nine, A. Right. We got number uh six. We mm -hmm. had close to fifty. No, we were off by twenty-five mm -hmm. cents. Yes. We had fifty really? we needed to get fifty five. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And, oh. and we worked long and hard to get them. Yep. All right. We lost by a quarter. So did two. you guys get two? Two. Two. Okay. Room number four. I believe it's five. Yeah, that's what I got. Five. Okay. okay. Room number five. We also had five. Ooh, so what's that average for Kyle? Five. Which is what we guessed. Five. We what have five. Two? On average, we had five? Very good. There, there it you is. Go. There it is. Yeah. All right. We went from two to good. seven. Seven. I demand a recount. <laughs> I don't think okay. that's achievable. Let's move. Good job, Kyle. That was very interesting could, and very different. I like that. Could you Can show that graph on? again? It was up there for half a second. Hmm? The, the table, you mean? The table. Oh, yeah. Graph. Yeah. That graph. He gave the the link. It's in the. Um, yeah, the I think he meant the link. scores. Yeah, yeah. The I think scores, he was talking yeah. about the scores. Oh, that. Oh, that's I usually scores. don't show them after the first round. You just consider yourself privileged to be seeing them right now. Okay. Three, okay, two, go. one. Go ahead. There you go. Goodbye. All right. So next we have the birthday boy. How does it feel to be a boy? Be, being called, being, being thought of as a boy. I'm above, uh, I'm 41 today. Ooh, oh wow, ooh, that's ooh, ancient. A child. <laughs> All right, Romero, you got the. You got Didn't the Faith just have a birthday the other day? You guys have like back to back birthdays. She she was June tenth. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that was. A... No, that wasn't her then. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Unless June was just really close to. All right. March. All right. To figure out All right. What's the category? The category is trees. Okay. Trees. I know of some trees. Trees. Okay, muting. Three, two, one. Trees are another good data structure. <laughs> Don't yeah, give me any so ideas. It's, uh, it's not going to be computer science, but uh, maybe next time. Oh, dear. Uh, okay, so number one is according to a 2015 study from Nature, approximately how many mature trees are there on planet Earth? I give you uh, a multiple choice, 300 billion, 3 trillion, 30 trillion, or 300 trillion. Number two, which country has the densest tree cover in trees per square kilometer? Number three, uh, there is no universally recognized definition of tree, but a commonly used definition would exclude plants like Joshua trees, bamboos, uh, palms, um, because they, they don't blank. 
And then you have to fill in what uh, what's the blank. Hmm. Uh, number four, the majority of trees are angiosperms. What are the primary characteristics of this clod? Number five, uh, in vascular plants, blank is the tissue that transports water and nutrients from roots to stems and leaves. Number six, in vascular plants, blank is the living tissue that transports the soluble compounds made during photosynthesis to the rest of the plant. In trees, this is the most inner, the, the, in, in trees, this is the innermost layer of the bark. I'm going to ask on behalf of Janine to put the uh, question in uh, as you read it instead of after. Janine, you're, thank you, you very much, Rob, but I'm learning. Thank you. Uh, number seven, most conifers are evergreens. Um, but a common example, but uh, what is a, what is, uh, sorry, let me rephrase that. What is a common example of a deciduous conifer? Uh, number eight, Colorado is home to a clonal organism representing an individual male of quaking aspen composed of about 40,000 trunks. What is the name of this organism? And then this is for Canadians. Uh, the sugar maple was a favorite street and park tree during the 19th century because it was easy to propagate, fairly fast growing and had beautiful fall colors. However, in the 20th century, it has declined in, in use due to not being tolerant to blank. Sorry, Janine, I tried. And then number 10 is uh, started in 1978 and estimated to be completed by 2050. This project aims to stop the expansion of the Gobi Desert, creating a forest 2,800 miles long and increasing the number of trees in the world by 10%. What is the name of the project? Wow, that would be something. Well, that's it. Oh, good. That's thought provoking. The Gobi Desert. Boy, can you imagine? Any questions? Nope. Good job. Karen's here. Which, Karen goes on the team that, what was that, three or four? Who has the lowest score? Give her, give her to our team because two of us are leaving. She's going to the team that has a low score. Which one's that? Uh, that would be three. Okay. All right. So uh, trees. So let me see. Number one is uh, three trillion. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 We got a point. It might be our only one, but we got a point. <laughs> yeah, we got the top it. Ten countries with uh, the most trees. So, um, yeah. And it is number two. Oh, Russia! Wow. Yeah. Finland. Uh, ah. Finland. Yeah. So number number two is Finland. Oh, has, wow. uh, oh my gosh! Didn't think of that. Uh, it has a. A density of 72,644 trees wow. per square kilometer. Wow. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, I, I would have, I would have put that, but I, I fell for the conspiracy theory that Finland doesn't actually exist. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and uh, let's see, number three. Uh, this one can accept, I think, multiple answers. Yes. Hey, here oh, is the rings. rings. Uh, hey. uh, oh, secondary right. Good job. Yeah. Call remember it. That xylem and phylum. No, no, no. The, oh. Yeah, the rings. We said what about they're not made of dark. wood. Oh. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, wood. I, yeah, I can accept. I think I can accept wood. Thank you. Okay. You would accept wood? 
Yeah. Everyone check, check, check. And then number four is uh, plants that bear flowers and fruits. Yay. I thought you said Well, I had fruit. And then uh, oh, five wait, five uh, Romero, Romero, we, yeah. we said we said that they're not flowering and the flowers make a fruit. So is that okay? Yeah, yeah. if you say they're flowering. Flowers or fruit. Said, we said oh. seed producers. And flowers. We said yeah. flowers and seeds. Um, yeah, that's what we said, flowers and seeds. Well, I mean, I'm not well, sure if you know more about this, Janine, too. because uh, yeah. aren't the other category, um, like conifers, also produce yeah. seeds, right? But they're not uh, in just yeah. yeah, they're gymnosperms. Gymnosperms. Gymnosperms, yeah. gymnosperms too, yeah. <laughs> Flowering key control. All right. Yeah. Flowering. Oh, is that how you spell this word? X, Y, L, E, M. So number that's a wordle choice. word. We got to remember that one. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try it for your word for the starter. I'm sure that'll work. No, really well. no that would be an awful strategy. There's almost I, never an X. I think it's a great <laughs> idea. And, someday, and someday you will now. be right on the first try. <laughs> someday. And then the the other equivalent one is. Uh, Oh, yes. Oh, we spelled it wrong. My first wordle word is piano, and I haven't been right yet. <laughs> Someday I will. Ah, the large. Yeah. The large. You know what this is from? Number you seven. were right, Adrian. Large. Large. Adrian. Large. What about the, what about the Don Redwood? I would have to look it up. I didn't see that. Uh, what is it called? Don Redwood? Don Redwood. Redwood. Yes, that is. March. Yeah, Mark, what is it? Yeah, the Don Redwood is Asian. Yeah. That one, uh, that one is also acceptable. Hey, hey. So, it's, a, it's, it's a reference from Monty Python. A yes. large. A large. seven. A I, large. I, I used it as a question. In my picture behind me. Aren't they beautiful? They really are. And then number oh. eight is Panda. Yes. No. Way to go. No. <laughs> Fred. Fred. Good old Fred. 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 Fred the Panda. Beautiful. Beautiful yeah. picture. Fred. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Very. Number nine oh, is now. Oh, no. 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 We weren't even close. Oh, oh that makes sense, though. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. What, what, was, what, would... what was the question again? Uh, it was, uh, let me put it in the decline of sugar maple. Yeah. Mm. Uh, okay. We don't do so road salt in my area. So that's, I don't no, know here. So yeah. All your sugar maples should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> do, uh, do we consider this a type of pollution? Because we just put the generic pollution. No. That's our answer. <laughs> I mean, that would be uh, too too generic. And this is this is not it's 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 intentional pollution is kind yeah. of accidental yeah. byproduct. Yeah. This is intentionally it doing. Ruins something. our cars out here too. Yeah. yeah. Oh one. my God! Yay. Three oh. 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 Right. Never heard of this. Mr. Greenwald, of this. this. Our green wall wasn't that great. Is that okay? <laughs> I said great. You said great. Oh, you did have the great in there? Okay. Okay. Oh, it's All in right. China. Oh, but we, we didn't so have close. the three north shelter force. Oh, I thought it was why was I thinking it was in Africa? In Boy, I'm, I'm embarrassed. We actually got it. Color me yeah. color me red. Well, I didn't know either, Susan. I believed you. <laughs> I said it was a straight face. <laughs> I should know better. This, trees close enough. The Gobi had a lot of dinosaurs out of it. She got it. Bro, All right, no, let's go with our wait. scores. That was good. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm hearing, I'm hearing somebody say something I wasn't expecting. You think we got this? Yeah. I'm just asking if Great Wall of Trees is acceptable. No, Jamie yeah. was saying we got it. That's well. That's why I asked because he said. You think that. we got it? I don't, I don't think no. it is. No. Great Wall. We we put great great wall. We put Great Wall of Trees. Is that close enough? No. Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> that's, I, thank you. I will admit that's not close enough. Because it has a name and that was in it. Yeah. Very good. Peggy Peggy just texted me. She said her power is out. So she's going to bed. Mm. Oh. And uh, Caspian's okay. And, and uh, Deborah's okay. Mono's okay. Good. You're all in that area. Okay, okay here we go. 
Let's do our scores. Team number one. We had nine. Ooh, wow. wow. Um, um, okay, team number four. Weren't you guys in last place? No, Again, we were three. three. How many did you get, team number four? Are we, I thought we were team number three. All right, yeah. let, 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 let's let's go by names. I'm confused here. So, okay, a, go ahead. Read a, out, a, a, a death of here. a death of Steiners was in last place. A dearth of Steiners, and dearth. we're still in last place with three. Oh. We we got we had it almost on like every single one of them. We just uh, missed it by uh, a little. That like, we, match. we put <laughs> Xylem and Flom reversed. Okay. Uh. Oh no. Bomber. Oh wow. So okay, uh, a box without hinges, keys, or lid. Yet Schrodinger's cat inside is hid. Uh, I think we have two. Two. That's all right. Wow. Where's the Where's the chart? The the, wow. uh, the thing. Sorry. Yes, I should share it. So yeah. So we might be in People last get place very now. Very upset if you don't do things in, sure. in order. Okay. So. Um, oh, never mind. He's right now. So you got two. That was. Fox that was, News uh, logo. We deserve and you. So that's we deceive my, and you believe. That's my team. I believe we got six. Correct, but Rob. Six. All right. Okay, vote first. for the birthday party. Six. Yeah. Oh. That's what I got. And we Six. had Janine. That's hard to believe. Yeah. Janine. Well, it was hard. She, if it wasn't for her, we would have had like two. Two. Yeah. <laughs> we had two. As, who did this team, last time? Has a team ever failed to make uh, double digits in an evening? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna try hard we're gonna do our okay best. so let's do a let's do a picture i can't do the picture somebody else is gonna have to do it because my screen will not capture you all anybody put a tree in your background oh too slow chicken marengo okay everybody there who's gonna take the picture because i can't do it um i guess i can just give me a second no no <laughs> Okay. Yes. All right. Is everyone ready? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. I think I got her. <laughs> Kevin, make sure your uh, face doesn't fall off there. <laughs> <laughs> I try to make a different face every week. <laughs> uh, you were okay. smiling so hard. It helped me to smile. For my <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. It was really awesome. <laughs> So we have a birthday today, so you know what that means, you guys. Uh, Sadly, we do. Uh, so it's for birthday to you. Have birthday to you. Have wait, birthday, wait, 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 wait. Have birthday to you. Okay, we're done. Okay, ready? So you know the rules. Any key you want, any speed you want, whatever tune you want. And this is for Romero, right? So give it up for Romero. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy Whenever Yay. we do that, always brings a tear to my eye. Better and better at that. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, we, we should be, we should just go on tour and just do the birthday mm -hmm. song. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, nobody's going to buy a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding? People are glutton for punishment. They, you know, think about all the puns are out there. Okay. Break so, time. Break time. Five minutes. I I have to go. You guys have been okay. wonderful. Bye, Vincent. Bye, Vincent. Bye, Vincent. Bye, Vincent. Bye. 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 You can leave your soon. northern lights for us. Bye, yeah, I'm going to leave yeah. really yeah. nice, well, so you guys. I wish. See you next week. Anyways. Bye. 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 So she's recording or not recording? Oh. Says it's recording. We need Vincent. Oh, okay. We need Vincent no, back. No then dirty jokes, Vincent. <laughs> Are we taking a break? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Isn't it like a tree in the forest? If there's a recording, but Vincent isn't here to see it 
or hear it, is it happening? Right, he has to watch the replay. Jamie, your your video, your mic is hot. Just in case you wanted to know. Yeah, it's got a little bit of uh, funkiness to it, but uh, I'll work it out. Hey, Robin, your mic is hot. I always feel bad when people have their mic on. We're hearing. I'm going to walk away and start yelling at somebody. We're hearing personal conversation. <laughs> what are you doing? I didn't. I didn't know you felt that way about mics, uh, Terry. Well, <laughs> well, yeah, I do. You know, when they're hot, they're hot. Hey, what are you going to do? I know. <laughs> Oh. Mike's ruined many, many photos. What do you do? Rabbit ears or the finger? What's that? How do you ruin photos? No, a, a microphone ruins photos. Oh. A microphone because it's it's in the way of someone's face you know that's true yeah lots of photo lots of people think they know how to take photos and they've got a microphone right in front of the guy's face and singing <laughs> and it's like you can't see them oh yeah a lot of photos like a lot of people bad when they start out doing it they do that yeah that i wouldn't have thought of that that makes sense are you outside carolyn It'd be nice if I were. Yeah, well, it, looks, it, right looks, now. <laughs> it looks really peaceful. Um, I think this was the Jack London Nash, uh, State Park. Oh, it's very pretty. Up by Santa Rosa. So. Oh, I love that area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're getting a big rainstorm here too. Oh, and I hear the owls. Hmm. I just, we're hoping we're not going to get flooded around here. So, like I said, it's, we have sandbags ready to go in case, you know. Wow. Are you in a, are you in a low area, Carolyn? Um, yes and no. I mean, normally we wouldn't worry about it, but this year has been particularly soggy. Um, we are a block away from a canal, so oh. water should be pushed out. Um, you know, they empty the canal and stuff into the reservoirs and the holding uh, basins, so we should be okay. Um, the last two storms, we we were okay. That across the street, we were a little bit worried. We could see the street down from us. Um, it was about four feet up to the lawns, like four, four or five feet up on lawns. And a few blocks over, it did get into some garages, so, but we were okay. Mm. So I'm more worried too about the wind because with the wind, you know, again, the ground's been so soggy. We've lost so many trees in our city. There's just trees just down everywhere. Uh, a news flash just came up on KSBW. Over 10,000 people are without electricity on the peninsula. Wow. So Peggy lives, uh, for people familiar with the Monterey Bay area, so Highway 68 that goes from Highway 1 to the coast there um, between Pebble Beach, Pacific Grove, and Monterey. Mm -hmm. So Peggy lives on the south side of that. And I have friends that are on the north side, like by Del Monte Shopping Center. That whole area is out as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that wind is really blowing. And it happened about... Um, about seven o'clock. Hmm. This yeah, is you really sound like you have the setup like we had in in 1996 when we made the front page of the New York Times for our Corvallis flood. Oh, but 
I come from Tillamook where we flood every year <laughs> there. So mm -hmm. it's and I'm not where the water's gonna not, go over my house. So it's raining hard here, but there's no wind. Huh. I'm gonna look out well, my front. And I'm right by the I'm right by the uh the bay, San Francisco mm -hmm. Bay. By, yeah, the right bay's, by the airport. The bay's not gonna be a problem. It's the tributaries, landslides. Well, we're out of here tomorrow. Yeah, you'd probably be worse if you were on the coast side, the ocean side, as opposed to the bay side. Mm, yeah, probably. It's mm. not raining at my house, Susan. No, really? Oh, wow. you're in San Francisco. You're not yeah, I'm your in San Francisco. House. I'm right. I'm right by the airport, like a Exeter two from the airport. It was raining hot in Frisco. Do you know what time high tide is? By Frisco, you mean the one in Texas, right? <laughs> because nobody here calls no. San Francisco Frisco. Nobody who, yeah. Uh, they did in 1970-something, early 70s. Nobody Those must did. have been people it. who are not from San Francisco. Uh, no, what do they call it, Caspian? They the call city? it San Francisco. <laughs> the city. San Francisco or the well, city. The city, yeah. the city. Yeah. The city. Yeah. Well, Harry Chapin wrote, Man. it was raining hot in Frisco. And Otis Redding said something about Frisco too, right? The Frisco yeah, there was a famous movie, the, Bay. Uh, the Frisco, oh, the Frisco you, Kid. The Frisco <laughs> Kid yeah. with uh, Harrison Ford. Yeah, well, like, nobody calls Boston Beantown in Boston. Some people say San Boston, Fran. Call it Beantown. I don't San know. Fran, yeah. Maybe yeah, San Fran. Hey, that's a, that's a category in itself. What has San Francisco been mentioned in? Name the songs. Or even or the whole category of what do, what do cities... Theme. Yeah, what do the cities call themselves? It's not raining here. It's not? No, Is but I just dropped a candle down a two-story window. <laughs> uh oh. Oops. But the, but the wind blowing. The wind it's is blowing. Evening. It's wet out there. It'll, the flame will go out. Is it out. windy, Caspian? Yes, it's windy. But not wet. Interesting. Correct. Well, it's not raining right now. So tell us about the moment before the candle fell. How did you? Know <laughs> well, I was cleaning. I put a candle from a nightstand onto the windowsill. I walked over to check the rain at said outside of said window, forgetting that I had left the candle there. I didn't bother to turn the light on, and I hit the candle. Oh no. <laughs> And thus began the great wildfire of 2023. <laughs> <laughs> and the power went out on on a good chunk of the peninsula. Thank you, Caspian. I think I dropped it on my garden hose. You're a regular Mrs. O'Leary. Well, you'll be prepared <laughs> when the fire starts. I think I, I dropped it on my special uh, combustible garden hose. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're back. I go for a combustible garden hose. It's made of petroleum and debt cord. <laughs> <laughs> okay so we've got some people here what do we got going on adrian you got you're going to be going on a trip yeah. on tuesday we're not going to see you because she's going to be in um australia she's going to be up and <gasps> down and then she's wow. gonna, adrian where are you going in all in new zealand mark was just asking me and i didn't know the answer the cruise um, ship so it's yes yeah, so cruise ship so we're going to all kinds of little places uh, dunedin and that's where the that's how you pronounce it. That's where the conference is going to be this year. Oh, in Dunedin. Oh, cool. I got schooled by my husband on how to say it. I said it wrong about twenty times, and uh, takes a while. Mm -hmm. it takes me a while to figure it out. I've never heard it pronounced. So you're going there, <laughs> and where else? Um. Oh, I've forgotten. There are a lot of little tiny little coves and and places. Are you going to Stewart Island? I don't think so. Is that where the um? The volcano erupted, or is that a different place? Oh no, that's what Bigfoot is. volcanoes that's, that's in the northern the part. Yeah, okay. Stewart Islands in the southern part, but the best, my favorite part of New Zealand was Ulva Island. From, I don't think they'd from, be going there because they're on a cruise ship. I don't think they'd allow that too close. No, to I think island. I think that's yeah. yeah. I think that's not. So where are we that's are the going? very southern tip from Invercargill. <laughs> Yeah, we're yeah. going to Milford Sound, Doubtful Sound, Dusky Sound, Dunedin, Christchurch, Wellington, Napier, and Picton. Oh, Napier. Christchurch, Napier. I loved Christchurch. It's amazing there. 
That's awesome. what we had the conference last time. And there's a bunch of skeptics in that area too. Awesome. awesome meeting with them. Napier is fascinating. Napier was built in like 1935. It's a oh. um, deco. The whole town is a very special art deco. Beautiful, oh, beautiful like spot. Yeah, well, and my husband is retiring next year, so we're planning on going back to spend more time. So this is just our taste of New Zealand. So we're, New Zealand. we'll be on land next time. Mm -hmm. and that's yeah. what we, hope. we were there. Yeah. The, the day that the volcano exploded, we were there. <gasps> really? We, wow. Yeah. We were that's in no, we were in the Northern Island, and it exploded the day we got there. We is that there. White Island? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. We were far enough away, but um, yeah, we were there. But before we go to New Zealand, we're spending eight days in Sydney, and uh, I'm going to be meeting okay. with some Sydney skeptics, and we're going to yeah. go for dinner, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do a talk at, at Skeptics in the Pub. They're changing their date just because I'm coming, which is really That's awesome. That's so cool. No, awesome. Yeah. I think it's really going to be fun. I'm excited about it. Nervous, but <laughs> don't be nervous. It was my first live uh, presentation since 2019. Crazy, right? I mean, I'm used to doing lots of presentations. I just did another one for the Tourette OCD Alberta Network on Tuesday night. I'm doing presentations all the time, but they're all virtual still, even here, right? We're just doing them virtually here. So I'm mm. really excited. I'm going to be doing a, a live presentation. It's going to you're be going to be worn to bits. You're going to be so tired. You're going to have a blast. You're going to have the time of your life, Adrian. I hope so. It's awesome. I I'm really excited. Too. And I'm going to do a report because for the skeptic zone. And because I discovered a while ago that Celebrity Cruises has got a partnership with our favorite health person, Gwyneth Paltrow, with her goop. Oh, <laughs> oh no. So, you know, I'm going to be looking into, I don't know, maybe I'll do a, a some kind of pseudoscience bingo or something. I don't decide what I'm going to do, but we're going to do some kind of report from the cruise ship. And we've seen lots of crazy stuff on cruise ships before, lots of acupuncture and hypnotism and all kinds of stuff, right? So it, it, it's not, I'm not going to be short of material, that's for sure. You're going to be, do, you're going to be filling multiple weeks. <laughs> and I think I'll have to, maybe, maybe I'll do, uh, I'm going to do an interview with Richard. <laughs> I'll interview him <laughs> in Sydney. <laughs> You got a lot to do. My gosh, this is really going to be fun. So make sure you take lots of photos. And oh, yeah. I want to see them. all of them every day. I want every day. No. <laughs> <laughs> Anything on the skeptic zone this week that we should be aware of? The only thing that I'm aware of right now is, of course, I'm doing the newsletter. So that was really fun. And the, in that newsletter, we're talking about some Canadian doctors. Yeah, at least a yeah. Suddenly dying Canadian yeah. doctors. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So, all right. Thank you, Adrian. So, yeah. Kyle, what you got for us? Well, this week on Data Skeptic, we're continuing our season that's all about survey research. I'm talking to a researcher who sur does surveys about stage four cancer patients and their partners. Uh, but what we actually get into was uh, about the fraud that was going on in that study, that a large number of bots had filled out nonsense data. And we discussed the procedure of identifying that and filtering out the bad participants from the good ones. And that's this week on Data Skeptic. So what, what would this study be? I mean, if you weren't talking about the bots, which is really ridiculous, somebody would want to mess with scientific data, but what were you trying to look at with stage four cancer and partners? So we didn't get as deep into that as I might have, but it's uh, my understanding is her research is around what facilities exist or the lack of facilities to help people in that situation that when you find someone you know your partner's on the end of life path or you're the partner that's there that there aren't necessarily good resources for you and she's trying to identify or highlight identify find issues like that and propose solutions oh is she, was she in a certain country or um university of utah oh so uh united states huh? yeah Mormon country Fascinating. Okay, I'll look forward to that. Rob, do you have something? I had a busy week interviewing people, including somebody in this game right now today, uh, but nothing is being published till probably next week. So yeah, I interviewed Kyle today. We're going to be talking Ooh. about uh, his podcast a little bit and Havana, uh, not Havana syndrome, um, the missing 411 conspiracy theory. Oh, that is and, so cool. And, and also ChatGPT. Uh, we got into a discussion about that. Uh, yeah, um, 
Athena syndrome is on my mind because I interviewed Robert Bartholomew the day before, and that's what we talked about, Kleinick closing that out after it was finally uh, a report that was like uh, skeptic friendly from the US government finally, instead of making us look like idiots. And, uh, you know, they they announced after all these years of investigating, they, they have, you know, can't find any evidence that there were any actual attacks by anybody. So I wonder if they like the taste of crow. And yeah, they considered so, unlikely that it was an attack. Yes, right. Oh, man, so, we fought for that in Wikipedia for so long. So finally, the, finally, the page for Havana Syndrome on Wikipedia is, is uh, you know, to my liking. <laughs> Um, but the, the the other thing that we talked about, Robert uh, Bartholomew and I, was the reason I interviewed him, because he actually texted me a few days earlier, said, oh, what do you think about what's going on with the Iranian thing? And how's the Wikipedia page? And I go, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I totally missed this story. Has anyone else heard of this? The schoolgirl poisonings all across? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, you know. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, well, so you know, I had not. Other people I talked to had not. So anyway, uh, the the Wikipedia page was a mess, and it was basically you know almost no criticism that this wasn't real, and uh, it is now a lot better. I'll say that. So 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 that so that's good. And and uh, after the interview with Bartholomew uh, airs and is printed, perhaps someone can use that as another citation on the page. Ah, just, just that wondering. might be a good idea. So this is the this is another mass psychogenic. That's what we say. Hysteria, mm. but it's in it, it, it checks Korea, all right? the boxes. It fits Iran, the pattern of young previous girls. ones like this. Yep, young girls, Islamic. It tends to be a thing. Mm -hmm. Yep, it talks all about those details. Interesting. Uh, there's no evidence of anything. The really interesting thing was. Uh, just a few days ago, for the first time, the Iranian government arrested people and is now blaming them. And uh, yeah, so at, at the same time, spokesmen from the government are now saying, oh, 95 percent of them are just, uh, you know, uh, they didn't call it mass hysteria, but basically they're, they're misinterpreting their symptoms. So like they, they don't know what they're saying now. They're crossing fingers at. Uh, and also the other interesting thing time is the people who are doing the mass protests that's been going on for many, many months about uh, wearing the hijab, right, are blaming the government for poisoning the children. And the government is saying essentially it's a false flag operation by the insurgents to make the government look bad. Yeah, it, it, it's yes. they already bad. look bad. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> but, so everyone is pointing fingers at everyone else and, and thinks it's real poisoning apparently, but no one wants to admit that there's nothing there yet. But it's going in that right direction, it seems. You know, I was thinking about these train derailments and things that are going on. I mean, it's such a mess over there. And people are, I think there was another one just today or yesterday, and people were complaining about headaches and, and all this other stuff. And you're like, how do we know how much of that is real and how much of that is mass hysteria? So really mass hysteria. brains in a stressful situation. Yeah, it, it's fascinating, and I think we need to really have a discussion about it. Uh, not us, but I think society shouldn't. The Havana syndrome sh should come right out and say yeah. what it is. And I don't like that to make it sound like the people are to blame the people yeah. or make it sound like they're crazy or anything. We got to yeah. come up with a good way of defining it so people understand this is a theme. It's mm -hmm. not. It's not fake. They're not lying. They're just misinterpreting. Well, yeah, yeah. As well, you know, I've, I've learned people have have problems all the time and and the thing is they're not normally associated with a particular thing like this but then if you're put on guard to look for that thing mm -hmm. then you associate it with that and and that's what happens and therefore it gets linked to that right and uh, in some cases can be legitimate and some are not some yeah, are suggestion different. and right. we can't tell right, right. because we've, we've we've tainted all of them with the same brush so it's, it's right. hard to tell well so this, i don't I don't know that you could tell in in some cases anyway. And by the and by the way, I don't I haven't seen this written up a lot, but I have asked Bartholomew about it. He says it's questionable. Is the long COVID thing, right? You know, the might oh, be talking about it too. Yeah. Right. Some people really have some COVID cases. causing some long things, but again, then people just assume something they would have gotten anyway for some not related it. cause, and it gets attributed yeah. to COVID. Yeah. And well, we don't we don't really know this yet. Yeah, there's a lot but of there who... are you can't dismiss all mm -hmm. uh, as as a suggestion, um, but well, it's very hard to separate out until you have mechanisms. But you do have mechanisms in some because 
of the excess deaths uh, within a year of people having had COVID. There's, there are uh, evidence there. All right, well, we should wrap it up because otherwise we're gonna get into a long discussion. We'll never be out of here. Mark's trying to sleep, so he'll drive me crazy. Oh, he says he doesn't care. Okay, I just heard that. He says, okay. he says stay all night. Okay, got it. Okay. Um, I have a, I'm gonna be doing a talk for the Philadelphia Skeptics Group. And he says, you're not playing the game. Uh, and then I, and don't forget pie days on Tuesday. So don't forget to take a picture with you eating pie. Eat pie, take a picture. Got it? Even if you're by yourself, take a picture of you eating pie. Oh, wear your pie earrings. You, 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 can, you, can you post a link for the Philadelphia thing, Susan? Uh, no, I'm afraid to move my computer screen to anything else. <laughs> <laughs> it's already disappeared the two times and it's very frustrating. I don't know how I got it back, but I'm afraid to touch anything. Wow. So, um, all right, let's bring it back because otherwise we'll never get anywhere. Okay, so the next group is going to be uh, Ron and it's all Luann, right? I'm begging you someday. <laughs> Where are you, Ron? But screen? not this day. You know, not that, today. you disappoint me. You're disappointing me. I, I'll, I'll get I, a little I, I and one together soon. However, I don't know if you can see this in my background here, okay. but it's back. It's Ben. That's, that is Ben. And it's back. <gasps> the category ben. for today is. No. Uh, I'm showing. Ben. However, in this one, there are no rats inside. So it really is about Ben. I'm going to be giving you um, either books and or movies and or TV series, all of which are have a person whose name contains Ben. It could be their first name. It could be their last name or a part of their name. Okay. So, Three so very all the answers, categories. Rob, that you gave two weeks ago now are probably going to work. <laughs> I, I think this is deception. I think this is a false flag. I think it's still rats. I'm going to like be. <laughs> I, I did check there. I don't believe that there's a rat hey, in any of these. We, we've ones, been so. there, done that. <laughs> yes. Ron, Ron if you rats. trick me again, ben I'm going to take offense. Because, you know, yes. Well, Ron, if you fool me twice. Ron, you, you if you finally do the uh, the Luann category, just remember your team will score ten, and nobody yes. else will have a, a score. Think no, about but that. I will be doing it, so it won't happen. No, no, it'll be ten. Somebody else I will be on the team. Well, that's true. I will be on your team, so I okay. will get ten, and everybody else will get zero. Wouldn't that make you happy? Oh yes. So let's get started because right. I have to go to work in three minutes. So I don't see how that plan could even fail. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Ron. Uh, somebody gonna mutate everybody? <laughs> Mutating not. in three, two, one. And I am no no longer a mutation. Okay, so number one, this is a TV series, and it's very simple. The character was Martin Tupper on Dream On, which is an H HBO show. Okay, hopefully the formatting of this will come out correctly. For number two, these are some books, and I'm looking for the author of these books. Six Years, Fool Me Once, and Run Away. And as I say, run away, a cat runs right towards me. Go away, cat. Oops. Now the next one. is both movies and TV. So this particular character, hang on a second, I gotta throw the cat off, get off me. So this character was Itzhak Stern in Schindler's List, the vice president, Nance in Dave, and Fagan in Oliver Twist, but was also on a TV show, Full House, one episode, Called actor in the misfortune in 1973. Okay, number four. I got a cat throwing up behind me. Great. Um, this character 
uh, was in three movies. He was Holden McNeil, McNeil in Chasing Amy, was A.J. Frost in Armageddon, and was Ned Alleen, or Aline in Shakespeare in Love. Number five. This one was William Carey in The Other Boleyn Girl in 2008. I don't know why some of them I put dates and some I didn't. Uh, Paul Marshall in Atonement from 2007. Ford in 12 Years a Slave in 2013. And did the voice of Satan in the TV uh, show Good Omens. It's a great show if anyone hasn't seen it. Actually, it's a great show even if you have. Number six. This one was Albert slash Hara Krishna in Meatballs Part 2 from 1994. And in TV was Andrew Lay Lansing III in Murphy Brown over six episodes. The voice of Pavel in Tron Uprising, which actually I think should have been under movie. Sorry about that. And was Mr. Vargas in The Blacklist for five episodes. Yeah, I'm not sure where the Tron Uprising ended up down in the TV. Number seven. This guy was Stan Sweet in The Cable Guy in 1996, David Starsky in Starsky and Hutch in the 2004 movie, Larry Daly in Night at the Museum in 2006, and in TV was Garth Motherloving in one episode of The Simpsons. Give you a nice easy one. Hey, finish the ring up, cat. Now you're back. All right. This one on TV was John Ralphio in Parks and Rec. In movies was Dr. Arthur Newman in The Mask in 1994 and Son of the Mask in 2005, and was Shellback in Seinfeld in one whole episode from 1997. And last but least, we have. This one was Fire Chief Perkins in Those Magnificent Men and Their Flying Machines from 65, The Toymaker in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang in 1968, and Professor Simon Peach in The Italian Job in 1969. So once again, every, care, every person that's in this has been in their name somewhere, first name, last name, or part of a name. And fool me that's once, it. shame on me, fool me twice. And none of them were rats. Okay, do, am I the one who said that gets rid of people here? Is that? Uh, I can do that. Okay, you're gonna do that. All right. I will do that. Okay, no questions. We're going to our rooms. Oh, somebody is there. You're on mute. You. Yeah, it's it's my category, so. I'm bringing them back now. All right. And then I'll join in the next round. And of course, I closed all the rooms for the wrong place. So now I'm in the wrong team. <laughs> what was the category? Um, it was Ben. These are people with the name Ben somewhere in their name. Ooh. I know who you were thinking of, Terry, but his name isn't Ben. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. Jeff, Thanks. Terry, it's Jeff Goldblum. Ah, okay. that's it. Thank, no, okay. ben, no Ben there. Thank Hi, you. Richard. Hello. Hi, Richard. Hey. Hey. We, we, got every, Richard. we have everyone back now? Hey, I, I, yeah. I'm I'm for you. Hello from rainy Oakland. Oh. But by the way, for whoever manages the groups, I, I blew it and returned or closed everything down from the wrong breakout room. Ah. So it sounds like I've been moved to the wrong place. You need to be reassigned. Well, so you know what? You still have your power, so you can move yourself. I can. I've never done that before. Let me. You just move from one room to. Well, you don't do it until the breakout room's open. Yeah. Then you All right, just well. jump into the room. Click, click and drag. 
Oh, Hi, okay. I, okay, that works. Okay, we're ready to go. Yeah. Go. Yeah. All right. So number one, which at one point I didn't see anybody getting it, but now I saw a few of them. So, and by the way, there are no bonus points for getting this guy's name right because it's Brian Ben Ben. Yes. So just if you get this right and you get another one wrong, you can't use the extra Ben for that. <laughs> nice one. Nice one, Mike. Uh, did anybody get that? Yeah, yes, we did. Two teams. Yeah. I know. Carl, Carl knew it. Yeah, Jane knew it. Uh, Mike, Jane Mike had it. that answer for us. Thanks, Mike. For number two, um, really good author for weird science fictiony type stuff. Uh, Harlan Coben. Uh, oh, ben. and I will accept Coben because as long as you got the Ben half, if you put uh, Harlan, that will not count. Man. Number three, uh, a few people got this one. Kevin Ben Kingsley. Yay. Yay. We got a point. Well, two points. So, yep. Uh, okay, number four. I think most of the teams got this one. Even a duck knows that. Ben Affleck. <laughs> nah. And Affleck. sorry, it was not Shakespeare in love. This really was Shakespeare in love. Mm. Um, okay. <laughs> Ooh, crispy jalapeno pieces. I want. And those Scare are obviously Benedict Cumberbatch's um, favorites. I had to put this one in just to make Rob happy. <laughs> and number six was extremely difficult trying to find some way to include this guy without including Pee Wee <laughs> Herman. Oh. Oh. Yes, I should have known that. We heard no. him. Oh, I loved him in, in uh, Murphy Brown. I almost said so, but I thought he was in more shows than that. Well, he's oh, he's a lot of excellent. stuff, but yeah. And the next one I think a lot of people got again was Ben Stiller. <laughs> Number eight. I saw variations on this. So I didn't see if anyone actually got it right, but I may have missed it. It's Ben Schwartz. Yep. Who played uh, John Ralphio. Yeah. Schwartz was with us. Could not then, remember his last name. And then f next one is Ben Stein. Yay. Anyone? 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 Good, anyone? good call to put that answer like there, that. too. Nice. And for those of you who've been around for a while, like these old shows, oops, I forgot to copy it. The late, great Benny Hill. <laughs> what am I missing? How is Pee Wee Herman a Ben? Ruben. Paul Rubens. Paul Rubens. Paul Rubens. Paul Rubens. Ben. Okay, Ben. Okay. Yes, it was not my Pee Wee Her Ben. So. Yeah. Very clever, Ron. Very clever. Oh, oh my God. What's the question that Benny Hill was the answer to? All right. So where are we going to put, where are we at? Let's see. Uh, oh, geez. A dearth of Steiners. How much do you got? Six. Okay. Dearth of Steiners? Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> uh, double, double figures, guys. We're, a, we're, a, we're, a box we're... without hinges, key, or <laughs> lid that Schrodinger's cat inside is hid. We also had six. Very good. A Fox News logo, we deceive and you believe. <laughs> I'm so enjoying watching what that's happening with them right now. Vote for the birthday party. Seven. And there's a typo. The birthday boy's name is spelled wrong. <gasps> oh my God. Yeah. And you even <sighs> had a reference. The oh horror. M A R. It's okay. At least it's you don't call him R A M. Ramirez. It should be B E N. <laughs> R-A-M-I-R-O Caspian's power's out Ooh. I just got a message No. Karen are you okay with the power because I just got a PG e a notice yep. for our house Yep. that, that means it's light? just me and Mike <laughs> and where does Caspian live Left. Oh. in Monterey it's Stormy Daniels time. weather Seven. maintaining the oh. lead we're going to we're going to hold the fort down Mike it's close though Mm. Oh, I think Cindy, I, uh, Cindy at the other end of our block, Karen, just texted me. She says her power is out. Oh, we got power here. Our lights are flickering. 
Wow. You have you have power and cool spaceships behind you. Darren. I like it. And that kerosene powered computer. Okay, so very good. So where are we putting Richard? Can you show me that thing again? Okay, wait a and, minute. And Ron needs to go to the right room. Yep. Well, unless Caspian is joining from his phone, uh, Team Five is down to two people. We need so Ron. E even though we may not be in last place, we are down to two people. That sounds fair to me. <laughs> I mean, well, fair I, that I you don't get think I've been not fair that you get stuck with two people. I don't think I've I've been assigned a team yet because I've just yeah. Gone. So let's see, where should we put him? I think Probably. one time Deborah was mm -hmm. all by herself. <laughs> no, I was there. So, in other words, she was by herself. Oh. So, uh, so on. Yeah, I don't know if Shorter's Caspian's going to try and rejoin. Caspian's out. Vincent's yep, and, gone. Yep. Is and Mike Carolyn there? left too. I, it's just me and Mike. Well, wait. We have Richard now. Yeah. Well, yeah. But normally he would go on the dearth of uh, Steiners. But go ahead if you want to put him into the room five because they're almost out of people. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, well, so I would love to have Richard, but it seems fair that it goes. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want to steal people away <laughs> if if it, the rule is that the person last place. But I mean, I don't speak for the team. I'm only one person. Rule, rules are yeah. made to be broken. Our power is let, out. let them go to the other team. Yeah. Okay. Our power is Sounds out. Sounds like our we house had a decision there. All right. Just your rules. Remote in. Winter rules in golf. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Who we got okay, next? so Robert, Robert Palmer. Okay, so here we go. Uh, and Richard might be happy he joined uh, for this. How come I don't see Richard on the screen? Is Richard on the screen? I'm not seeing him. Uh, He's there. It's different than everybody's. Uh, so yeah, I found him. Okay. So, uh, so Richard, yes, it, and it would be really even better if Michelle Bickesmore was on your team because this oh, is logical yeah. fallacies. Oh no! Give okay. the description. Wait, I take it back. We need Richard. We need Richard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, too late. We need. I cannot the, we believe. Always, always yeah. need the um, skeptical fairy godmother. Yes. I cannot believe I've waited three years to do this. Um, <laughs> So. You've done logical fallacies before. We've had it. You did, you did yeah. logical fallacies. I don't remember yeah. doing this. Did I? Did I really? Yeah, you did logical yeah. fallacies did. before. And well, then this, should be, then this should be easy for everyone. I think it was Gail. There's only, there's no, only he did it. Really it was Rob, was Rob but oh, okay. a couple of months Within ago. Within the last month, you did it. I don't remember <laughs> that. That's scary. Yeah. Uh oh, Mano says his lights are flickering. Yeah, really, and Cindy said there was a very okay. loud pop. Okay, Mano. My neighborhood. Mm. Okay, well, if I did this, you're all going to get it really, really quickly. All no, right. it was really hard. It was to hard. Remember. You didn't give us a list, and you, they were obscure I, ones. They were none of the known ones. Number one, this is a foul, fallacious argument that concludes a proposition must be true because so many people believe in the argument. <sighs> uh, we should mute people. Let's see. Mute, 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 mute. Participants. Mute. Oh, Okay, number two. Actually, even if I did do this and don't remember it, there's like about a bazillion of them, so it's very unlikely I got a lot of these overlapping. Number two, this logical fallacy, which Ray Bolger may have understood, occurs when someone gives the impression of successfully refuting an argument while actually misrepresenting their opponent's position. Number three, this logical fallacy named after the Australian Cygnus Atratus involves the assertion that because we have not experienced or discovered something, that thing does not exist. Number four, this logical fallacy has nothing to do with the fate of John Jacob Astor or Benjamin Guggenheim, but it is committed when a person is reluctant to abandon a course of action because they have invested heavily in it, even when it is clear that abandonment would be more advantageous. Question five. 
Skeptics need to particularly beware of this logical fallacy, which occurs when concluding that if an argument contains a fallacy, its conclusion is necessarily, necessarily false. Number six. This is the fallacious argument that assumes that because two events occurred in succession, the earlier event was the cause of the latter one. It is best said in Latin, so you need to have it that way to get a point. Sorry, but it just doesn't sound as nice in English. Number seven, this logical fallacy is committed when someone finds something improbable or hard to believe and so maintains that their preferred explanation must be true. Darn Vulcans. <laughs> Number eight, we're going to get to Vulcans. The fallacy, this fallacy can be described as victory by definition and involves an attempt to protect the characterization of a group from a counterexample by specifically excluding that counterexample. Catholics might be guilty of using this one if they dismiss their Catholic friends and family who don't believe in transubstantiation. I've actually had that happen. Number nine, this logical fallacy was often committed by a fictional detective, but the uh, bastion of logic, Mr. Spock, Ben, also repeatedly erred by using it when he said, if you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be true. And finally, This logical fallacy entails assuming that if an amazingly large amount of evidence for a claim exists, even if all the evidence examined to date has been invalidated, it is likely that some as yet uninvestigated piece of evidence must be real, and so the claim is likely true. And this was, in fact, invented in just 2018, so I'd be shocked if anyone gets this. So that's the 10. Any questions? No, but you did do this, Rob, but you did not do it this way. You gave examples and asked us to name this out. Okay, good. All right. Everybody set it to go to their rooms. Go to your rooms now. You're muted, Susan. Looks like your lips are moving. Why are people still here? Kevin, are you asleep? Kevin! <laughs> Kevin! Did you fall asleep, Kevin? You're muted. Go to your room. Go to my room. Yep. All right, I gotta go to another room. Let's see. Hmm, where do I wanna go? We were just talking in our group that the woman who joined us uh, at the first round, what was her name, Caitlin? Yeah. Caitlin, yeah. She didn't even make it the beginning of the first round. <laughs> yeah. And we were saying that probably was a good round to start somebody on. Yeah. Did we, did we figure out where she came from? She, she, she Googled it? Trivia on Facebook and found us. And and so trees would have been good or the bin category would have been good, but this logical policy is an she hit, she hit Kyle's <laughs> data about this group round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not not the best That's time a bit to of join. An in crowd oh. Oh. She must That's have been funny. like, where where's the ejection handle? <laughs> <laughs> How quickly could I leave leave without being rude? She said she was gonna go get dinner or something, it, right? Maybe if I maybe if I gnaw my own arm off, I can leave it. <laughs> <laughs> we did tell us some people come and go. So after that she said, Oh, dinner's sure. ready, I gotta go. Yeah, yeah. dinner. Ding. I hear the, I hear somebody saying ding in the corner. Yeah, it was pretty bad for her. Poor thing, you know. It was tell her it was yeah. a fun category. But she but did say she was coming back though. So yeah, absolutely. I, I think that was yeah. polite. She was just trying to not be polite. Feelings. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's being polite. She's probably trying to get in, and Susan won't let her in. Yeah. 
<laughs> I can imagine what she's posting all over the internet. These people are crazy. <laughs> she's probably a Trumper. They call this trivia? <laughs> no. No, I, I think she was working for, for Thomas Maybe. John. She, and uh, here she's saying, to, she's saying to everybody, and they seem to understand. Yeah. <laughs> the offender has been been punished. Oh, that's true. That's good. Okay. Oh, I know what it is. She's a spy from the Thomas John. That's right. That's, that's what I said. Yes. Yeah. Kind of and she's going to be that. sorely disappointed because I can imagine what he would tell them. Oh, okay. Kid. Let's. She's got access sure. to Kyle's confidential data. Oh, yeah. That's it. But you know what? We're on video uh, anytime. She can anytime. They don't need to infiltrate. They're all. They could just watch the video. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's do this. All right. Answers. So, so yes, answer. So this is actually scary because I did forget I did this. So I've been working with logical fallacies in a lot of different ways recently. So I, I didn't remember this was one of the ways. But yes, uh, it was right that I did it the other way. I gave examples, and it turns out that two of these were the same ah. ones. Yes. Of course, the, the clue was very different. But and the first time you guys did uh, three, four, four, five, six. So we'll see if you do better than this time. So I will paste the answers into the chat afterwards. Somebody's okay. barking. Who's barking? Sure. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna... What's with the bark? That, that category is passed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't bark, it was tree rings. All right, number one. The fallacious argument concludes a proposition must be true because so many people believe it is the argument to the people of the people in Latin, it's argumentum ad populum, argument to popularity. Any of those is okay. Okay, so our argument from popularity yeah, should be good. That's fine. All right, good. All right, cool. All right. the uh, logical fallacy which Ray Bolger may have. I, I tried to write these a little yeah. bit like a Jeopardy because I'm actually, yes, I, nice. I'm, I'm sort of writing Skeppardy clues at the request. <laughs> of the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll see if that if if they're going to take my uh, thing. So anyway. So that's why these were kind of like that. Anyway, Ray Bolger may have understood occurs when someone gives the impression of successfully refuting an argument while actually misrepresenting. I heard people talking about this, and I'm not sure anybody actually wrote it down. The straw man or fallacy. Yeah. No, we it. said straw man argument. Yeah, but yeah. Okay, good enough. I think that's good, right? Okay, yeah. good. Now this next one was you won't painful. take the scarecrow argument, right? <laughs> it, yeah, it's it's thanks not thanks to Mike recognizing argument. that that name being the actor of the scarecrow. Uh, so yeah. if I only had good a job, Mike. Fallacy. <laughs> so all right i wrote the last one i actually inserted it because oh i just thought i should put this one in for richard because this comes from the uh black swan of australia and that's mm -hmm. what uh, that the uh, cygnus actress actually means black swan mm -hmm. that is the official uh species name <laughs> and it is the black richard. swan fallacy yeah. yes. did you guys not get that richard yeah no we got it we we changed it at the end and just kind of said based on your I don't clues think richard that got that's it, though. what we no, that's well. Did you, no, did you get I it? Mean, I don't know. Yeah, we, we kind of. In the end, to... in the end, yeah. we got the right answer. All right. Maybe our reasoning was a bit all over the shop, but mm -hmm. we got the right answer. Okay, because I heard you were going, "Oh, black swan, black swan," but I don't know what the name of it is. It's about a black swan, but I don't know what the name of it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> all right. Then, the then one. I couldn't remember the name of Karl Popper. It was driving me crazy. Yeah, I didn't get why you were obsessing on that, but okay. What what did that have to do with this? Tell uh, me. Rob, I mean, I mean, you that. don't get you don't have patience for Shut someone up. obsessing on something. <laughs> no, I just said I don't guess that. <laughs> okay, you, I, when this is over, Carl. Uh, 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 Carl Popper. When this is over, Rob, uh, Rob, look up Carl Popper and Swan. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Carl Popper and Swan. Uh, uh, pa, I mean, Carl. Carl with a K. Is it Carl yeah. with a K? I think so. Okay. Maybe uh, not. I don't know. Didn't look up Popper and Swans. And okay. So the next one, number four, I uh, put some clues in there about uh, John Jacob Astor and Benjamin Guggenheim. And some people I heard unremembered, they were the rich folk having to do with money who went down and sunk with the Titanic. Uh, so this is the sunk cost fallacy. Nice. Mm. All right. And then it looked like I had a typo <laughs> in number five where I doubled the word ne necessarily, but I did that on purpose because this is the argument from fallacy, also known as the fallacy fallacy. fallacy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Or, or also the argument to logic. Because Any of this is okay. Uh, the next one is, um, this is the one I wanted in Latin because it just rolls off the tongue, post hoc ergo propter hoc. 
I won't count spelling. If you got anything <laughs> close to that, you're good. Uh, basically, because of this, that. Yeah. So number seven is... After this, therefore, because of this. Thank you. The logical fallacy is committed when someone finds something improbable or hard to believe and so maintains. I, everyone who calls the atheist experience as a theist gives this argument. Uh, and this is the argument from incredulity or argument from personal incredulity, also called the appeal to common sense. That makes no sense. Hmm. Number eight, I didn't hear anybody get this, but it was only in two rooms, so I don't know. Uh, so this is the one where Catholics might be guilty of using uh, to dismiss their Catholic friends and family who don't believe in transubstantiation, because they would often say, well, then you're no true Catholic. Uh, the, yeah. the, the actual name of this is no, no true, true Scotsman. Scotsman. Yep. Ah, Bob got it. Yep, we got it. Very good. Yeah. No true Scotsman would get that wrong. <laughs> no true skeptic would get that wrong or am i or am i wrong all right so for this one i'm going to i play, doubt it i'm gonna play, <laughs> I'm, gonna play, I'm gonna play a video for the for this next one with the with spock in it you will not follow my precept how often have i said to you once you've eliminated the impossible whatever remains however improbable must be the truth An ancestor of mine maintained that if you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. What exactly does that mean? It means that if we cannot have fired those torpedoes, someone else did. Watson, how often have I said to you, when you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth? Oh, very often. Very well then, it applies now. Future? If you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Once you rule out the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be true. Ooh. So there uh, you go. And that is actually called the Sherlock Holmes fallacy. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. How about the Holmesian fallacy? Or the Holmesian fallacy. Or also the argument from omniscience, which is the problem. He's assuming he knows every possibility. Right. 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 What about the false, false psychotomy? No, that is a totally different thing. That's only two choices. It's this or it's that. Oh, yeah, yeah. OK. And the last one, did anyone get 10? Probably not. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Oh, What's the answer? Yeah, well, if yeah. you took a wild guess, you didn't get it. So it's called the countless counterfeits fallacy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So that, that, that's a really good one, because it comes up all the time. And I'm quite amazed that there was nothing really defining that specifically until uh, just a few years ago. <laughs> the idea, if there's so much evidence, some of it's bound to be right. That's Even exactly right. And I had a friend who said that about aliens and you know everything you could imagine. No matter what I showed him, right no, you didn't check them all. Yeah, for sure. Every conspiracy theory seems 99, to go down. Ninety-nine percent of all sightings have been explained, and there's that one percent that right. that be true. Right. I thought it would be called the um, uh, the white dove. Or what is it called? The the black crow. Oh, the white crow. White crow fallacy. <laughs> I want no, to call black it the dog. Stan Friedman fallacy. Uh, you guys know the white crow is what they, uh, John Edward, the uh, Gary Schwartz said about John Edward, that if you can find one bright white crow that disproves the fallacy, uh, disproves that you can't have a white crow. This is um, this is the Karl Popper swan argument. Uh -huh. oh, that's what that is. oh, okay. I heard this is White crow. All right, we're gonna look that up later. All right, scores. Who's the black swan? Karen what about the purple parrot? Yeah. <laughs> well, they have the dead parrot. The dead parrot. I know the giant purple people. People eaters. Wow, that count? really, Karen? The really? Highest, I hear the they had one eye and one power. horn, and it yeah. flies. It's purple. Okay, uh, let's see. It looks like a dearth. I of wish to register a complaint. Is in uh, last place now. What you? How'd you do? Nine. Whoa! Woohoo! Nice. Excellent. Bravo! Excellent. All right. Yeah. Now in last place is a box without hinges, key or lid. Yet Trojan's cat inside is hid. Seven. Not bad. Cool. Look at this. Oh, look at all those twenties. Wow. Yeah, let's, let's stop, stop there. Stop We're done. Yep. Stop. We're <laughs> done. done. Stop let's let's just, Vote stop. for the birthday party. Nine. 
time. Ooh. Oh. And uh, That's all. my team, the Fox Nine. News logo. Did yeah, it? Did all, did all the nine just miss the last one, right? And uh, Stormy Daniel Weather. We had eight. Yep. So Ooh. close. Oh, Look at this. In the lead. And we're crawling out of the cellar. Two teams, only one point behind. It's all down to the bonus. Ooh. Okay. Does that mean I need to make the bonus really hard and uh, do I think mono it's rules? Say mono rules. Yeah. You need, you need to make the bonus really easy for Susan. Susan, I've got a request. Yes. Can I, um, because I wasn't here earlier, because I was working on the Skeptic Zone, can I mention the podcast? Yes, please do. Now, thank you, Adrian. I understand that you mentioned something about the podcast already. A little bit. A little bit. Well, apart from Adrian's contribution to the Skeptic Zone, which is legendary, which is <laughs> sublime, couldn't have a show without it. This week on the Skeptic Zone, we look at this amazing publication, Unearthed from 1983. Ooh. Oh, God. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. That looks awesome. We look at the magazine, the, the newspaper advertisement for this incredible publication and the publication yeah. itself, which I bought and will review. Also, I will review the 1979 Australian TV special all about the prophecies of Nostradamus, which was rumored at the time to be banned in the United States because it would cause fear and panic. Ooh. When was that? Terrified. We love fear and panic. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's Fox News. It's Fox headlines, News. Isn't that's it? what they're about. <laughs> so the Nost it's a Nostradamus bumper issue coming up on the Skeptic Zone podcast, including, of course, uh, Adrian Hill's reading, being skeptic newsletter, all that at skepticzone.tv. Thank you. Very good. Very good. All right, Ben. My turn. Yeah. All right. It sure, sure is. Okay. Well, tiebreaker. Uh, tiebreaker. Yeah. I uh, happen to be wearing uh, my category, but don't worry, I won't have to make you stare at my shirt the whole time. Black? But just so you guys know. What is it? Gun? Oh, no, it is really sci-fi weapons. So Ooh. let me... Oh. Ooh. Yes. So that is what you will be doing. And don't worry, I have some links. Oh for you guys so um ben. first let me send this oh if what's her name hadn't left already i think she'd be gone right now <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> and then let's make sure that yeah. you guys can the only category she had she there was only two categories she would have been able to do is trees and ben <laughs> oh, that didn't all copy yeah. oh, no. please even though i thought I had all of it. Let's try that again, shall we? All right, click that. Make sure you can get to that. And everything should have a number. And so then can, can yeah. every room share? Every room can share screens, right? OK. Can you show up one more time? This side is temporarily unavailable. Oh, how I got it. 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 Put it up again so we can do it. Yeah, a sure. Shot Hold on. Is there another I one? I sure there? can. Give me just a second and I will reshare. And then let me know when you guys are done. Am I sharing the right screen? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You guys yeah. uh, tell me when you're ready and then I'll okay. send you guys a so. screen cap of it. Okay. That's a cool picture. Yep. So essentially what I'm looking for here is these are all like science fiction-y type weapons. And so they're all going to be from, you know, TV show, movie, some sort of franchise. I'm really just looking for, you don't need to like name what it is. Uh, we just really want to know what it's from, what show, show. movie, et cetera. Oh, this is yeah. so weird. I, I had this. I was very confused because there's a fairly small tile, and I thought this was like one handgun. And it's like, what are you talking about? Why no. are there numbers? Well, on? yes, it, it may form a specific yes, handgun, the whole thing. But yeah, I, I if we were still doing bonus points, I would have the bonus be what is the what is the whole thing uh, representation of. But yeah, yeah I didn't well, realize until I blew one. it up. 
<laughs> so right. we just need 10. So you just need 10. So I, you know, probably going to be a. So we have to match those around. 10 with the number, or can we just say 10 and hope they're on this? <laughs> no, you need to say uh, one is this, seven is this, and you need okay, to get 10 of those correct. Star Trek, Star Wars, X And they're not right? all sci-fi sh films, right? Uh, yeah, not necessarily all sci-fi. Okay. Some of them are going to be action, you know, but they're going to be yeah. fantastical type weapons. So, so there's no, they're not, there are no real existing weapons there. Yeah, I mean, if if we went in, some of them are, and some of them are based off of real weapons, but they were modified to look all futuristicy. So, any other questions? Are we ready to? So we're just looking for the show or yeah. whatever that they come from yes yeah we don't need this or i don't need anything specific other than just what is the franchise that that it's from okay all righty okay. do i have power i do have power all right opening all rooms well he sent it to me he has on his phone janine you're in what room janine yeah, bonus round. Janine, where are you? She's out of the room. What room is Janine go to, you guys? I gotta sign her. Two. Okay, I'm gonna sign you. Two. two. Sorry. That's all right. I, I just can't. I can't different. see the thing. I keep. I'm suddenly having leg like, cramps. Oh. So so did the person, the new person, was that? She she left within a few. She minutes left. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. We're okay. pretty crazy. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Ben Are says we he's going to be able to do this fairly fast. Yes. So let me get this ready and then I will share out my screen. Oh. Was that a piece of cake for anybody? Yes, <laughs> Carl. Oh my goodness. Karen, it's how's it over category. at the neighborhood? Is it really bad? I, I no, got it's one calmed down. The winds have calmed down, Susan. But, but the they were over screen. 30 miles an hour. But your power <laughs> is on and the rest of our block is out. Wow. All right. You guys can, can see that, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and here we go. Number one, Robocop. Robocop. Mm. Okay, um, number two, the phaser Ooh. from Star Trek. Yeah. One in a row. Yay. <laughs> oh. Number three is Vera from Firefly. Uh, you oh. have a name. <laughs> Firefly Serenity, but I don't know if the gun appeared in the movie or just the TV show, but. And then we have, of oh. course, the staff that they use in Stargate. You see that in quite a few of the episodes. Yep. That's two. All right. And Ghostbusters, that was just the oh. wand. It was not the full backpack. Uh -huh. It was just the wand from, from Ghostbusters. Didn't pick up on that. And then uh, six is the pistol from V. Mm. Be the miniseries, and I think it probably made it into the actual show too. Yep, and be the final battle. Yes, Ooh. number seven is of Yay! course, of course, the noisy cricket yep. from Men in Black. You had yep. to have that one in there. Yeah. So, and then number eight, ah, uh, no. big trouble in Little China. No. So, so I got it. Oh, good. Yeah. Number nine, Lost in Space. There she is holding the weapon there, <laughs> which is weird because I think they actually had a different one like in the first season. This like was in season two. Mm -hmm. So number 10 is Blade Runner. The giveaway yes. there is the dual triggers yep. on that, if you look close enough. Why did they need two triggers? And two well, a giveaway. Yeah, so he, so he could shoot you twice. Yeah, it's just a visual giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> 11 is Buck Rogers. Yes. All yeah. right. Uh, okay. 12 Ooh, is Hellboy. Yes. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, so again, not that everything was to scale, but on the picture, that one was much larger than the other uh, revolver. So it would kind of a giveaway there. 13 is the rifle from Aliens, Aliens. very famous yeah, weapon there. That's a harsh looking thing. That's scary. Yes, yes. And so's the gun. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> at the, at the 14. Oh. Is the under there. Anybody no get way. this one? That's it? 14? It's a That's very it. odd shaped weapon. Logos yeah. run. Yeah. Oh, there's Deep a weapon. There. pistol. I, yeah. Oh, wow. Man, I there's love a, Jenny Agutter's costume. Yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's a pistol in that picture? Yeah, there is, <laughs> amazingly <laughs> enough. You know, There's if this was Logan's run, run, I'd be feeling pretty by now. <laughs> oh, Cass got 15 this is Space 1999. Cass got oh. Little tiny thing. It yep. wasn't a great angle of it. I tried to get side angles so that you could see the weapon better. But number 16 is District, District 9. 9. Yes. Oh. Oh. I and we heard in the wrong, in the wrong you guys, place anyways. Uh, yeah, there was a team that kept that uh, arguing. Was that, as, it was, was that something a, nine. Was that a flame, a flame thrower of some sort? Arc generators? Uh, I, it's called the arc it, generator is the name of the weapon. So it, I have it, the name of the weapon in the Do you remember it being used? to like, shoot? Because it looks like it's got a tank of something and then there's a Yeah, it looks mostly like a flamethrower, yeah, yeah. so. And number 17, I think. My favorite. No, there's, there's another one. But yeah, Marvin the Martian, <laughs> the disintegrator. <laughs> yeah. Marvin the Martian. I actually yeah, made some Marvin. Marvin the Martian guns for a company promotion. <laughs> 18. 18 is Forbidden Got Planet. Got it. Is that Leslie Don't Nielsen? Me. Don't call yeah. me shit. Yeah. Don't call oh, me shit. Yeah, yeah, I believe it is. Yeah. You are yeah. correct. Yeah. Leslie yeah. Nielsen, Walter Pigeon. Yep. And, and Robbie. Robbie the robot. 19, Babylon 5. Three. Three. Very distinctive name. Okay, Three. number 20. How many people got this one? The black hole. Ah. Oh. How many times is the stinking black hole going to come? Out? They're going to quite as good as anybody else. Swan. A hidden black swan. <laughs> That's right. Sickness. Sickness, yeah. 21 is the Colonial Sidearm from Battlestar Galactica. 2004. Yeah. Yeah, the, the newer series, not the, yeah, the rebooted Battlestar Galactica. And for those of you that are watching Mandalorian, that would, uh, she also mm -hmm. plays Bo-Katan. Yeah. Oh, yes, right. Yes. Katie Sackhoff. 22 was probably a tough one for people because it didn't really look like a firearm, but that's because it's the ah. shoulder-mounted plasma cannon from Predator. That was the trigger, right? Yeah. It's the little thing that pops up and on a shoulder yeah, and, it's and, like and a it people. Yeah. Uh 23 is Farscape. You can see uh -huh. him holding a couple of those pistols in his hands. Uh, yeah. The guy second uh, from the right. Ben Browder. Ben Browder, yes. 24 is the not-so-great Judge Dredd movie. The other one's much better, called just Dredd. But that's the lawgiver from Judge Dredd. 25 is the pistol from Ghost in the Shell. Had to get some, you know, anime in there. Uh, and 26 is wow. the Zorg S or ZF1 from the fifth yeah, element. That's scary too. <laughs> yes. Fifth element. That haircut is scary. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's a very interesting. And remember, he haircut. talks like this the whole time he's trying to sell it to you. Yep. Uh, <laughs> what's amazing is Gary Oldman does such a marvelous job as Churchill. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say. Wow. So I have one other thing to share real quick. Um, just so you guys know. All right. So let me share this because what's interesting is some of these were so obscure that I didn't even know what all of these were. So in a last minute ditch, I reached out to the person who created the shirt and he got back to me. Oh, wow. And he provided me. Am I sharing the right screen? Yeah. Right. That, that, so that's the guy, uh, hmm. Ian Leno, I guess you pronounce it. So Can he I gave me that little key right there. So I thought that was cool. Okay. Except he has one of them. He listed ghost in the shell as ghost in the machine, which isn't correct. But I may have a message uh, him and let him know that. 
But yeah, so he he sent me that today. I thought that was very nice that he That's actually took nice. the time to respond to me. So, so so Ben, right. on behalf yep. of Susan and her sheet, do you have these that you can put them in the chat somehow? Uh, I do. Let me do that right now. Let me go to the chat. That was See good category. I liked it. I only knew a couple of them, but I liked it. Yeah. Uh, and of course, I'm surprised that I'm surprised I knew two of them. It's not going to let me. Well, copy it's nice my to have a challenge. It? Oh, it is good. It's yeah. nice to have a challenging um, uh, bonus round for change. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think all these will copy wow. and paste. So we got 12 the first time. Yep, I'm, I'm doing them in just in case that it didn't all send at once. Oh, I think the power is back on. The thing I just all right, and there she is. There's 13 through 26. Okay, great. Yeah, our Thank power you. is back on. Woohoo! Cool. I can tell because of my magic cat cam. Excellent. Okay, so we're ready to get the final scores. scores from the people. raccoons did it, Susan. <laughs> Could find where my screen is for scores that would help um let's see here we go mm. oh, me too richard <laughs> oh i have no pity for you three, three, three hours earlier all right let's see oh, I for last place <laughs> all right let's go with the dearth of steiners no okay dearth come on dearth. five oh. five a box without hinges, key or lid, yet Schrodinger's cat inside is here. Ten, ten to catch up. Seven. Oh. Yeah. Sure. All right, not too he, bad. I was hoping I didn't screw my team over. I, I sent it to Caspian just so you guys all know, and he was he gave us a couple. Oh. All right. So the teams um, are just one behind the lead. Okay. Fox News logo. We deceive and you believe. And whoa. Oh, oh jam. Okay, a vote for the birthday party. Six. Out of the running. Wow, you Did guys. Stormy Daniel good. Weather get more yeah, than so eight. Are. And so are we. Six. Oh, 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 come from what an upset. Oh man, you guys, you guys. Well, um, uh, I have a question, Susan. How many did Caspian give you? Um one, two, two, three, four, four, the correct, I think. Four. Okay. Thank you. I feel much better. Why? <laughs> Why? Because without Caspian, we're first. And oh, we gave up Richard because you only had two people in there. Oh, I see. That's okay. I feel fine. <laughs> yeah, we feel last. <laughs> a good game though yeah that was very good all right you guys it's late so do you have next week filled yes rob is going to do the whole thing <gasps> go rob oh, what again wow well this today he was supposed week, to I'll be at it. san francisco airport so i won't be able to join oh okay do it's do all about the australian people. states and australian food and all the, the <laughs> and killer Canadian. animals in australia oh yeah, I, 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 uh, I am making music, so I will I probably not get there unless I just come for the end. Okay, so. he's going to do a category in the following week, Alan, right? Okay, good. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Okay, thank you guys, everybody. Hey, guys. It's great to see you. Take care. Bye. See you in a month. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye.